Your Excellency, sir, today we are doing things slightly differently, so I request you just remain standing for a word of prayer before we proceed. We'll start with Sheikh Hassan Adam. <laughs> Our dear Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, we come before your presence this morning with the gratitude that you've gathered here as a nation being led by our president. Today, Lord, we come because you have grown us as a nation. And we pray that you lead us to greater levels as we look forward to the growth that, Lord, you anticipate to see in this nation for the future. As we begin our activities of the day, we pray for your blessings. May your presence reign in this nation within its borders, that our leadership also, Lord, will be able to execute their responsibility with your blessing. Bless every one of us as we share the blessings of today and we partake the activities of the day. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you very much, Your Excellency. As we now move from the analog to the digital, we request that you just receive a call in that booth signifying where we have moved from to where we are today. And I'll request that we clear for the sake of photographs, please. Let's, let's have His Excellency receive a call. Very good. Very good. So the digital has uh, provided for that the hospital for visit there and to see as you came. Very good, very good, very good. Asadi sana. Thank you very much. So from there now we proceed to the digital police station where we are going to, we are going to have uh, the PS interior just take you through where we are now. At the police station, currently, we are moved from the old analog uh, um, OB to the, yes, to the digital OB. So at the digital OB, we can now be able to make a, a record. This is the old uh, digital OB. Uh, analog, this is the di uh, digital now from on, on, the, on the digital, we can be able to make uh, crime reports, incidents, and accidents uh, from the members of the public. And we normally give a, a ticket for the OB entry. Uh, when uh, a crime or report is uh, is made by the public, so the uh, the officer the 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 reportee goes with uh, the digital OB as a receipt as a ticket. Yes, sir. The, uh, ent the entry has been already taken care by the. Uh, yes, sir. Then we have also been able to. Yes, sir. We can, we can do it. We can do it. Yes, sir. We have also... Yes, sir. Yes, 
Oh, yes, we have it, sir. Yes. Currently in Nairobi, we have 97, sir. Out of 1,300. Uh, and Uh, uh, sir, we, ha we have the certificate of good conduct, which is already in the e-citizen platform, and we, members of the public can be able to apply and also download and do payments on the uh, e-citizen for the certificate of good conduct. We, uh, and we are making around uh, per year, we, we getting one billion shillings from the certificate of good conduct, sir. And we, in the near future, we are, we are intending to expand to around three billion. Yes, sir. Then we also, in the process we are doing the, uh, with the NTSA and other stakeholders, we are doing the instant fine. And it will be, uh, yes, that one will be on the e-citizen platform and we'll be making over uh, five billion shillings per year. accessible internet, free, fully sponsored by the government, Your Excellency. This will facilitate optimal uptake of digital government services because we are going the digital route. We are not going to have any manual processes in government moving into the future. It will also facilitate e-commerce end to end from the source of raw materials up to the market. Maybe I can ask my peers to add. Your Excellency, this is uh, now 2001. Wi-Fi, we are launching KICC exhibition area and the, and the city all way. So it's serving the governor's entrance uh, office and the KICC exhibition area. So this will provide inclusivity to our people. They can enjoy the citizen services from anywhere in the markets, in the parks. And this 2,201, 10 past 201. 10% 10 of our target for this year. By the end of December this year, we'll have done 2,000. And going forward, by end of 2025, our target is to have completed the 25,000 working with our private sector. Yes, Your Excellency. Yes, Your Excellency. Yes. Yes, Your Excellency. Sports across the, across the country. Yes. Yes. And by 2025, yes. Across the country. That will be the case also in the 1,250 ICT hubs. The, yeah, in the 1,450 uh, digital hubs, we will also have Wi-Fi, and the target for that is to complete between three, three to five years because we are working with the members of parliament using the constituency development fund. So we are, uh, we are agreed that uh, we are on course. We are on by, course by end of 2025, we will have 25,000 sports in Kenya, 
markets, uh, stages, city hall, KICC, post offices, where citizens can access internet free of charge, sponsored by the government of Kenya. Yes, and many young Kenyan ICT people can be able to create new digital businesses, digital enterprises. That will help Mama Mboka now to do e-commerce. So there will be a creation of new digital enterprises that Kenyans will be able to interact and use. It will also support entertainment and other educative uh, contents that can be channeled on the 25,000 Wi-Fi across the country. Because of the subject of the e-commerce you have mentioned, it is very important for you to make sure that we give priority yes, exactly. to every market in Kenya because that's where transactions are going on. Every market where people are selling their wares, Mamamboga is selling their, their products, and they can be able to transact, they can be able to make orders, they can be able to pay, yes. you know, because they have easy access uh, to the internet. Is that the case? Yes, Your Excellency. And as you guided us, we've had a meeting with the COG, Council of Governors, and we have had also a meeting with the leadership, the ICT uh, uh, committee of uh, COG. And we have agreed to work with, on this project together with the county government so yes. that also the Mamamboka who has a stall, any business person with a stall, will have also a virtual presence now and they will link the licenses of the county government with this virtual spot to increase the trust in the digital platform. Also telling me that uh, the border border guys, that every border border stage you will endeavor as you roll out. Uh, have you identified some of the border border stages as potential spots for this facility? so yes, that they yes. can also transact their business. Yes, Your Excellency. The 25,000 includes porta porta stages, and out of the 200 we've done already, it's very exciting to see them when they are waiting for their customers and enjoying free internet, and they are able to engage their business through this infrastructure. Very good. We are also doing, uh, with the Ministry of Housing, um, 400 markets around the country. I think 180 are in the budget this year. Please make sure that you prioritize the markets that we are going to be building as a place where there should be this facility so that people in the markets can access internet, they can make telephone calls without requiring data, although in this budget also we have reduced the cost of data so that people can uh, access, communi can communicate much more easily. So are you going to make sure that uh, part of your priorities are the 400 markets that we have identified to build around the country? Yes, Your Excellency, we will prioritize to work with the Ministry of Lands and Housing on the markets, the 400 markets, to ensure there is connectivity. We are also going to work even in the affordable housing so that we also introduce this infrastructure in the park that will be within the affordable housing. You, you, are, you are aware we are also doing uh, 47 county aggregation and industrial parks. Yes. And those will be centers of commerce. Yes, we want to make sure that uh, we introduce uh, COMEX, you yes. know, uh, yes. commodity exchange, yes. where one uh, county aggregation and industrial park can know what products are there, what are the prices. Yes connected to the other and they can be able to move prices around depending on where they get the best market and to make sure that there is even supply of products around the country. Yes, Your Excellency. You are aware of that. I'm aware of that. So yes, how are you going to work with Moses Kuria? We are already working with, uh, in partnership with the Ministry of uh, Trade to ensure that in each and every one of these industrial parks, first of all, there will be last mile connectivity of fiber and we are putting internet. Yes to facilitate yeah, in the hub. In the county aggregation and the uh, and industrial parks. parks. Okay. All of them. Yes. yes. As the industrial parks are being established, actually it is part and parcel of the bill of quantities. I want you to work with the Governor Sakaja to make sure we have the plan of 20 markets in Nairobi, uh, Governor. And you have already organized the border-border people into 
identifiable circles in stages. We had a meeting with them here the other day. Yes, Excellency. I would want you maybe to work with the ministry so that those people, together with the markets we are building, yeah. and even the ones that exist, the that exist yeah. and uh, also the the border border the circle border stages, stages yeah. are part of this ecosystem we are building. Yes, I will do that. Already we are working with Waziri in uh, some of the market, city market, Mudurwa, a few of them. Already have connectivity, Kenyatta Market. Do we have Kenyatta Market connected? Kenyatta Market is connected, Your Excellency. Mudurwa. Mudurwa. Mudurwa City is market. connected. City Market. City Market. Next we are going to Makina Market in uh, Kibira. So please give priority to all. I want you to work with the Governor. Yes. Give priority to all the markets that already exist. Yes. Because there is already a lot of activity, a lot of people, yes. people requiring access to internet in the existing markets. Yes. So that we can build it up from there, even Thank as you, we are. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll okay. Thank you. Your Excellency, we, uh, we, we, we will also work with the private sector to ensure that the SMEs, the businesses near the market can be provided. So we'll be inviting those who are registered within our regulatory environment, communications authority, to play a big stake by now connecting the rest of the country to increase the connectivity from the current 1 million to about 3 million. Your Excellency, um, yes. Your Excellency, one last thing is, um, other than the e-commerce, this Gavam Kononi facility will allow all citizens to apply and process government services from their phone. Anybody with a, a phone that is enabled from wherever, whether they are in the hotspot or if they are not in the hotspot, if they are bundles, they can apply all the onboarded uh, services and have them processed through the phone. The Gavam Kononi facility is beyond the e-commerce, is enabling citizens to access government services from their hands. Very good. Excellency, we request now for you to launch for us the 201 Wi-Fi, marking 10% achievement of our target for this year, covering the KIC expedition all and also the city all way, covering the office of the governor. Thank you, Your Excellency. <laughs> Thank you, Your Excellency. Can, can people now around here, can they access the... Mujaribu, uh, Ikosawa. Very good. So you can, uh, you can do something. I understand. Additionally, let me, as a county, what we've also done is a physical naming and uh, addressing system for e-commerce. So if somebody is ordering a delivery or sending, we're the second uh, city in Africa to now implement that. And so we'll plug into their system for the physical addressing. So you have a unique digital address for deliveries or for, for, for dispatching for your business. Yeah, for, for commerce. So we link up with the ministry. Make sure that because uh, I hope you are working with the county together with what we were doing around that space. It's, yes. it's, a, com it's a joint yes. effort. Yes, we are working in partnership with the county because we want to have a national addressing system yeah. uh, on the basis of which our e-commerce can be answered. Good. Thank you, Rick. Excellency, welcome Medical. to the Minister of Agriculture and Livestock Booth. And uh, Your Excellency, in furtherance to your dream of achieving a, he, a paperless government, I wish to report. I wish I wish to report that uh, the Minister of Agriculture has onboarded uh, 936 services. Uh, on the e-citizen platform. Please get us that slide. And uh, out of the nine that the 60 services, the, uh, the ministry saga has 11 of them are in compliant, and uh, we expect in another few months to onboard another 3,500 services. So out of uh, this great event, Nineteen days is three months, Your Excellency. Yes. That's what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, they look very many. <laughs> so, out, out of uh, in the next nine, ten days, we won't be able to onboard another 3,500 services. And out of today's event where we are celebrating the 5,000 services, nine, uh, 20 percent of the 5,000, 20 percent is from the Ministry of Agriculture and Livestock Development. Uh, Your Excellency, some of the services that we are offering, get to the next slide, is that uh, we have a, our National Farmers uh, Register, oh, we, uh, yes, where we have around 5.1 million with an, a, a unique identifier uh, number and telephone number, and this is what we've been using to uh, distribute the fertilizer in the country. So let's proceed. And Your Excellency, uh, out of the other uh, services we are offering is uh, the e-voucher, and I would want to... Can you tell us uh, how many, what is all this, how many, uh, uh, how many, how, how many bags of fertilizer did you get? Okay. Because you should be able to do Correct. Yes, and just get to that uh, slide where out of this e-voucher uh, e system, Your Excellency, we've been able to serve 40 counties. We have distributed 3.2 million uh, bags of fertilizer to 4,895 farmers. So the, the number of vouchers that have been redeemed this system is around 3.6 million vouchers. And from this, Your Excellency, you can be able to find that even for the next uh, short uh, range, we have in stock 700 and 763,000 bags. So the value of uh, the volume transacted through system is around 11.3 billion. By the farmers. By the farmers. Great. So let's 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 uh, proceed. So I I think uh, Your Excellency, for purposes of the country, and getting to really understand because this was one of our success stories. We have a farmer here from uh, Kwale who, if your time allows, you can make a demonstration for everyone okay. to be able to see. So, Mr. Send the message to Mr. Uh, Mr. Sa is here, Your Excellency. Okay. Uh, please. We want you to redeem now the fertilizer. You will get an SMS. Then when you get an SMS, you will be able, like every farmer got. Like every farmer got. Yeah. Even me, I got it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> The, the voucher code must be fed to our system because that is what will make his money acceptable when he pays through M Pesa. The six services so have been on board. And then how many are still outstanding? 3,500, which we also expect in another 90 days. So some of them are halfway done. Half away, uh, correct, correct, halfway done. And uh, I am sure by the end of the year, then we'll yeah. be able to on board more. This is how we do the redeeming of the e subsidy voucher. When the farmer comes, he comes with a message from the Minister of Agriculture. Uh, me, as a I work in the warehouse industrial area here. That is National Serious Board. And when the farmer comes, we ascertain the message and we take the codes. Every code has a meaning. There is a code for top dressing. There is a code for planting. There is a code for coffee fertilizers. When he comes in, we log in in the mezzanine uh, system and we ask the customer about the uh, the, the, the whole information, that is the details, uh, phone number, ID number, and then the voucher code. This is how we key in. The moment you enter the voucher code, it will bring you the information about the farmer, and uh, the farmer will be asked uh, the quantity. The better part of this system you can purchase as per your pocket. If you want two, pack, two bags, if you want ten, if you want the whole of the allocation. So the farmer here is telling me he's ready to purchase six bags of fertilizer, planting fertilizer. 
and I will key in six. Just, just hold on, just hold on, madam. Hold on. So, how did you arrive at the? You can see in the system it is saying bags available is six. Is it because when the farmer was registered, he uh, he gave the acreage of his farm, and therefore the system already knows that for a farm this size, then the fertilizer should be made available to him is six bags. Is that correct? Yes, His Excellency. That is correct. Yes. That is to avoid a farmer buying more than his farm can take. Exactly. Because if you buy more than your farm can take, it means you are doing some other stories with it. Yes. And because you don't want a farmer to buy and go and trade with it. Yes. It must be for his farm. Yes. Is that the case? Yes. Okay, proceed. Yeah, we, I'll go ahead and put the, the, the total number of the farmer who is ready to purchase. And the moment I click uh, set the quantity, and then we'll... Friendly? Friendly? Yeah. There is the you know, to choose the type of fertilizer yeah. that now he wants. Yeah. So you either choose kinomycin, yara, or whichever. Yeah. So in this case, I have uh, ETG kinomase, and I will add uh, here. And then I'll go to, can we? I'll go to next. And I'll just do ST. STK push for the payment. Now, when I push this, the message will pop in, will prompt in the customers the, the amount of money he's supposed to pay. The farmer, wake up. You want to see the message. Read the message from your phone. And so that now you can pay. Send her home. Go to home. It will prompt. It will prompt. So the message for payment will, yeah, now you can put in direct your m -Pesa pin. You can see it's a prompt message asking you to put your m -Pesa pin for the payment. The moment you put in your pin, the money reflects the account and it is ready. Pin. Yeah, the message from M-Pesa that confirmed 21,000, we, uh, we were paying six bags of fertilizer. So the farmer is done. We are waiting for a confirmation in my phone because I'm the custodian of this uh, fertilizer. So I need that confirmation that the process is done. Now, when the yeah, it has come. Can you read for us what the message yeah, is? Yeah, it is telling me, dear America Sioka, you have you have issued Anthony Kilonzo Matolo with six bags of fertilizer with a value Kenya shillings. Yeah, that's the first message. Kenya the shillings, second message. Kenya shillings what? <laughs> yeah, Kenya shillings. Uh, it's not indicated here, but I. Uh, the one I pushed for, 21,000. Yeah. 21,000, one bag is going for that five. 3,500 shillings per bag, that is 50 kg. Mm -hmm. So the first message will tell you that I have issued from the allocation. Remember allocation I have um, uh, entered here in my phone. The other message will tell me that you have successfully redeemed six bags of fertilizer from e-code. This code voucher. They are giving me, the, so the one, I'm the, sure. The, the one that is specific to... Yeah, uh, the one I used to redeem. Okay. So that is the, the end of that. And then I refresh here, and the message will... The whole transaction will be done. Yes. And from there, I'll go with the customer to my store. I'll first raise a receipt. There's a receipt showing... That customer is free to walk away with six bags of maize. 
or six bags of fertilizer, sorry. So from there, I'll work with uh, my customer to the store to issue the fertilizer. Very good. And Congrats. that's how it is. Congratulations. Your Excellency, it's also important to and, note uh, that. And that is the process, uh, Madam uh, Mary. That is the process through which the 3.2 million bags of fertilizer were, was used to deliver to farmers. That is the process. So every farmer got a message that uh, your farm, you, you, you are free to redeem so much fertilizer for your farm. Did every farmer buy the maximum or some bought less? They can, yeah, the farmer comes and buys the maximum because that the acreage yes uh, that was registered but they can also buy less or, or can yeah. they buy less or you more? can come for today you buy for few and then after a while you come and then finish your allocation okay yes can a farmer buy more than what is allocated no today? it will never allow yeah, okay it cannot Thank allow you. your excellency the farmer can only buy less than on the allocation and when you buy less the system will tell you you have taken three out of the six and you have unbalanced so any other time you are able to pay for the remaining three, you can pay. What and is anywhere. the difference, Waziri, between this year and last year on uh, terms of uh, availability of fertilizer? The, the, the farmers have been able to receive fertilizer with a lot of ease, with a lot of convenience, because they only have to engage through their farms and go to the nearest uh, depot where we are selling fertilizer. And we have also been able to, uh, uh, to completely uh, reduce uh, the 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 taking, taking up of fertilizer by farmers who ordinarily exploited the system to have more fertilizer than, the, than they would have ordinarily used and hand selling. So there is no way that this time round you can be able to have excess fertilizer which you are not using for sale. What are you doing? Because uh, there are farmers who still feel the stores are too far. Are you thinking of how you can uh, make the fertilizer available closer? Yeah, that is an issue that we've, uh, is a challenge, and uh, now we are working, we are trying to work closely with the county government so that they can be able to deliver the last mile to the, la the, to the nearest uh, stations where their farmers are. We are also trying to explore a situation whereby with time we will be able to capture and be able to get to know the agro vets that are strongly have capacity to take up the fertilizer and be able to distribute the be to distribute the fertilizer to our farmers, so by integrating them into the system once we are satisfied that uh, they have the necessary capacity and integrity that we require. Your Excellency, what, the other thing that we are really keen on, get me to the, the, to the, to the, to the CAUP uh, uh, app. We are also trying to give farmers e-extension services and advisories on uh, what, how the weather looks like in uh, all the, uh, the 14 50 ones in the country. So through this, Your Excellency, if you come from Washington, if we are to get to Washington, we will be able to get the Washington County to which sub-county and which one. Then you are able to see for the next 14 days how the weather patterns would be like. And when you have the weather patterns, how the weather patterns look like, then we have the other, the other application whereby you will be able to get into that system where from the using the same criteria, the, the county, the sub-county, and the wound, you will be able to get the best crops possible to, to, to plant at that particular time, making it easy for our farmers to be able to, to access our e-extension services so that they are properly informed on what, on what best to do at any one particular time. What, what is, how do you get into that service? Is get it, uh, you, is the president US, to, to... USSD, is it this USSD well, you, 616? SSD count, uh, the, uh, by dialing, uh, let's get here. For example, let's do a demo with the Washington Gishu. Because that's where you come from. Because if we don't give you the information that is clear in your mind, uh, then uh, you may think uh, probably it may not be correct. So when we give you a demo with Washington Gishu, you can immediately go home and get to know whether there is rain or there is no rain, <laughs> rain now. So let us kindly look. So Your Excellency, this is how the weather forecast looks like in, uh, in Soy. And, uh, the but, I, but I don't, come, the I don't come from Soy. <laughs> You not are, get you, <laughs> <laughs> Let us take him to his word. I don't come from South. <laughs> Ask our client to be able to give you the right details. I come from Moiben. Yeah. Oh. 
Se lo cogiste. Te embelió. That one. Yeah. Karum al Maybek. Let's get there. This is now how the weather looks like for the next 14 days. Today is a. Today is. Oh, this is from the from the first of July to the twelfth of July. A bit of rain around the on around the sixth yes. next week. Yeah. Okay. Mm. I will plan accordingly. Yes. <laughs> and then, the, if you also want to get the best crop to grow, but take them you to said, the other. You said, how do you access that service? Six one six. Six one six. Ask six one. Get the crop, six uh, one crop six. selector. Six one star. six star star, star six one six hash. Yes. So in your form now, they'll give you a menu. You go to those. Uh, you go stage by stage, mm -hmm. and you get the. Have you rolled out this program? It's already available online. It, it is already go? available, and we are live. That's why we are, we are able to test it now. If there Kenya is any farmer, agricultural observatory platform. platform. This is for climate. This one now is also called the uh, the crop selector. Where in the same county, for example, you put my uh, gishu. Get me Washingishu. The sub county is uh, Moiben, Karuku, the other one, uh, Karuna Beck, my Beck. So, here, Your Excellency, we will be able to show you the best crops that you can grow. We will start with the cereals, that is the maize, and the type of varieties that will do best there. Then, we will also go to uh, uh, flowers. the flowers. Yes, the flowers. So, let's proceed. We have uh, the fruit trees, we have mangoes do well, the pears, and uh, the mushroom. And this is how we, we expect through this uh, appreciation of the digital uh, technology to get our farmers. Is it available only in Wasingishu or countrywide? Country. You can pick any, any part of the country the whole, you want to check. The whole country? The whole country, Your Excellency. Can you go to Wajia? And Wajia. <laughs> No, no, Rikiji, I'm going to tell you how to do it, how to do it, how to do it, how to do it. To answer, okay. To answer, you're going to answer. And a Ruguru, Ruguru, Ruguru. Yes. So in the kind of crop you can do, but on the lehapo, these are serious you can do it. There are flowers there, uh -huh. fruit trees, pears, mira, you can also do mira, Your Excellency. And when we get to Meru today later in the afternoon, we can get a few. <laughs> Those are the tubers. And, uh, uh, to Endele, to Endele. Okay. Like, let's also check was, uh, Wajia, Your Excellency. It's important because the DP is satisfied. You know, people may think that uh, in those uh, semi-arid areas, you may not be able to grow anything. But Fox, the millet. Yes. There is even a member of parliament who has been inviting me to go there. Yes, so it's being done. Thank you very much. It's being done. Asante, Your Excellency, Karibu to the Minister of Housing. Asante. Hey, I up, Anu. Yes. Your Excellency, Karibu Nyumbani. Karibu Nyumbani, this is uh, State Departments of Housing and Urban Development. Uh, Your Excellency, the seat you are sitting on, uh, and all the furnitures you see around, they've been made by our local Juakani. So apart from the four walls and the roof of Your Excellency, we're also creating employment and work for our Kenyans. And uh, Your Excellency, to access the affordable housing project, you go through Bomayangu platform. This is a state-owned uh, developed uh, uh, platform, and uh, but managed through a citizen. Your Excellency, to register, you go through uh, a code, USSD code, star 832 hash, and from that registration, Your Excellency, now you are able to save 
and eventually uh, be allocated uh, a house. With us here, Your Excellency, we have two Kenyans who have gone through that process, Jemima and uh, Joseph, and I wanted them to do a real-time uh, uh, allocation where Jemima has saved about, uh, she'll tell us how much she has saved, and Joseph also will tell us how much he, uh, he has saved, and today they are going to be proud owners of houses at um, uh, Starehe, Starehe, Starehe project. So, the, the background, the background. no, the, 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 the Starehe. Uh, yes, under construction. Yes. They are booking. They are booking. Yes, they are booking. Okay. Yes. So, uh, Your Excellency, thank you so much. My name is Alejemima Nyaboke Lachami. I come from Kisi. Kisi, we are privileged. We have the soft stone carvings. So, I started doing the work when I was young. So I know how to do the small things of the carvings, okay. which attract the uh, tourists sometimes yeah. and the local customers. Yeah. But most of my customers are the local customers. Okay. So when they buy from me, the little money I get, I have to four kids. I have to pay the school fees for them, and the little I have to save because I was interested in to, for my angle. Mm -hmm. For my angle, I like it because I want to hold my own house, uh, which is near to town, our city. Yeah. And as you can see, um, somehow disabled, so I want somewhere where I'm capable of walking even town, doing like walking alone, and where I can easily reach my customers. So the little I've saved is 413,000, which I think through you, Your Excellency, thanks a lot for what you are doing. Because of this program of saving, I would like to have the Stare housing, three bedroom house, which will allow to me to meet my family. So that's my Already, Your Excellency, she, she has saved 413,500. Now, you save, you once. Savings means the little you get, you save. As time goes by, you end up getting it's growing. With time, it's growing. The little time I get, the little money I, I get from the small business, I say that's how it has come to 413,500. So, Your Excellency, I'm happy. The challenge I have with my business, which I may say, is because of uh, access of the customers. Most of my things are carved in Kenya, which attracts tourists. Mm -hmm. I have the problem of exporting, because I have a lot of time, because it's a family business. Most of my family, they know how to carve and how to do the finishing. Yeah. So we want to export. The only uh, challenge is get, uh, reaching the customers, which will buy in big quantities. So to me, your Excellence, this is not an easy thing. Reaching you, Your Excellence, is not easy. It's a chance, one chance given in life. So I would like you to assist me if I can please uh, the Miss uh, the Excellency for trade, Mr. Kuria. Yeah. So who is I think will access me how I can reach the tourism people or I, I can do my export to foreign countries like European countries which would like my things because I, them, I do them as alone. And I can even encourage those ones who are disabled like me. When you are dis uh, disabled, you are not disabled like that. Disability is not an inability. You can save the little you get. Even the uh, boga, mama boga people, you can save the small things. 50 shillings, 100 shillings will make you achieve for my young house, which will make you change your life completely. Thank you, Your Excellency. Thank you very much, uh, Madam Nyaboke. Uh, three, you have said three things here. Number one is this furniture. So you are aware that uh, we have uh, all this furniture that is here. We have decided as a government that all furniture that we are going to be uh, using in Kenya, starting with those we buy as government, must be furniture that is locally made. The buy Kenya, build Kenya must have some meaning. Number one. And that is why we have said in this year's budget that importing furniture will attract taxes because we believe we have built enough human capital, enough skills and expertise to be able to make furniture in Kenya that is good quality and that can serve us. That's number one. And I want to encourage Kenyans wherever they are, you should be able to buy local furniture that is made 
by our young people, that is made by our entrepreneurs. Number one. Number two, uh, Madam Nyaboke here has said he is engaging on this platform of uh, Bomayangu. And in Bomayangu, you don't have to know anybody. You don't have to know the PS, you don't have to know the chief, you don't have to know the next guy. It is just by going, uh, uh, what is that USSD number? Star 832 hash. We are telling the people of Kenya the same way you do star 254 hash to get onto Hustler Fund. You now need, you, if, you want, if you are looking for a house, don't look for the chief. Don't look for the assistant chief. Don't look for the member of parliament. Go to your phone, star 832 hash, you will get onto this platform, you will get the places where government is building houses. We will roll out now this exercise in every county and in every constituency. And you are free to choose where you want to buy a house. If you want to buy a house in Nairobi, even if you live outside Nairobi, you can buy a house in Nairobi. If you want to buy a house in Nyamira, even if you come from any other part of, the country, of Kenya, you can buy a house in any part of the country. This uh, Bomayangu will not discriminate. It will take you as a Kenyan, and you need to save so that you can buy a house. We are very happy that now Parliament has approved the program that will enable government deliver on this project of housing so that more Kenyans, like Nyaboke here, can have access to a house to buy. And we are making those houses uh, affordable. This house that we are building in, uh, in Stare is among the affordable houses, but there is a lower category of houses that we are going to have social houses that will even be cheaper than this. They, have social housing here as well. they also have social housing in this, in this program. So that, that's very important for us to know because many Kenyans are asking us, how sure am I that I'm going to get a house? How will I get a house? This is how you get a house under the government's affordable housing program. Hash 832 star 832 hash you will be there begin the process start the saving identify the house you want to buy if it is available you will uh, the system will tell you so many uh, houses are available you can choose which floor you can choose uh, what type of a house are you looking for a social house uh, are you looking for a one bedroom are you looking for a studio are you looking for a three bedroom it will all be available there, and you don't have to know anybody. Technology has made it possible for us as an administration to eliminate knowing people, favoritism, corruption, that you have to pay somebody to get what you want. The system has no human interaction. We upload the, and you will know when the house will be available. You will know how much deposit you need for that house. And now that we have the uh, housing levy, we will not only make these houses a lot more affordable, but there will be a mechanism for you to access a mortgage for, for us to uh, make it possible for more Kenyans to own uh, homes. Um, I, think, I think that is... Message, yes. But also it's important, also important to note that Bomayangu is actually a marketplace. So everyone that is in the market is integrated. So for example, Starehe, the developer is here. So Starehe units are already uploaded. The financiers are also uploaded. The Juakali people are also uploaded. So everything, it's a digital space where we bring everybody that is dealing with the matters to do with housing on one platform. So that is uh, very important. And um, the other thing that is very important, Your Excellency, and I think that is what you have alluded to, 
is that we are rolling out housing in every constituency. So far, uh, under evaluation right now, we have the first 29, which are almost ready. 29 constituencies. 29 constituencies uh, for the, our 200-unit uh, program. Then we have another 66 that are at the design stage. In total, we have ready 178 constituencies uh, that are at different stages because, you know, there is assessment, planning, and that all that. That you already have where to build. The land is available. In fact, we have 524 parcels of land. So there are some that are going through initial assessment, some are going through planning, some are going through design. And so we, we, you can look at uh, Bomayangu as a conveyor belt where we will be at various places, then it's uploaded. So it is important that uh, Kenyans uh, get used to the platform and they can know, once they register, by the way, Your Excellency, they elect where they want to buy a house. That's important for us also because we are able to uh, have demand-driven housing. Two, once they elect, they will be notified when, uh, when a housing scheme is coming up. They will get a notification that now there is a housing scheme coming up at your backyard uh, so you can start, you can go, you can look at the renders, and you can choose the unit that you want. And you continue saving towards it. Once you hit the threshold, which is 10% deposit, we will finance you 90%. That is how it works, Excellency. So, hapa kwatika hii mtandao ya Bomayangu, mkenya anaweza kuamua mahali anataka kununua nyumba. Kabisa na ataambiwa kwa hii mtandao kama kuna tayari manyumba iko inajengwa yes. ama kama hakuna ataambiwa ni lini itakuja ni lini itakuja na ikikuja aanze ku save aanze ku save kabla eh kabla aanze tu ku save anaweza kuanza ku save hata saa hizi hata saa hizi akingojea yes hata saa hizi akiregister kuna kiwango ya ku save ama unaweza minimum ni shilingi 200 kila kwa any transaction minimum yeah. miambili. Utume miambili, miambili ukingojea. ukingojea kwa sasa hivi wa Kenya uh, wangapi wako wameanza wa ku save uh, tuko na 367000 Kenyans ambao wa Kenya 1367 na, na yes tayari wa, wako kwenye boma yangu wako waki, waki wame register wame register alafu tuko na kama 33000 ambao ni active savers uh, wana Kenya save. elfu thelathini na tatu yes, tayari wana save. wanaendelea kusave naeza kupatia statistics jana kwa sababu tuko na live dashboard uh, it's only at, at, tungeza kutoka hapa lakini ni kuneza kuonyesha haraka sana tunapata disinformation sasa jana your excellency tulikuwa na watu mia moja na ishirini na tano wali register jana, jana. wali register wali register katika mtandao hii mtandao ya boma yangu jana well, you save 367,910. Yes. Jana peke yake. Jana peke yake. Yes. Uh, average saving ni about 43,500 a day. Yes. Wana save. Katika hao, hii mwezi peke yake, wa June, tuko na 10,538 already wame register. Hao wame save since June yanze, 17 million, 443,626 uh, shillings. Na the number of people total uh, registered at Bomayangu ni 367,373. How wote kwa jumla wale wa active, uli, wale active savers. Active ni, savers ni 33,000. 33,000. Very good. Lakini 367 wame register lakini kwa sababu hawaku wakiona activities hawani nyumba zikikuja hawajakuwa kwa hivyo kuanzia leo we expect kutakuwa na watu wengi first of all wata register na also tuna expect e save, uh, saving it enda juu mpaka sa hizi your excellency we have 1.8 billion uh, what we may save 1.8 1. billion um, 1.8 uh, <laughs> 1 billion 845 million 121,588 Okay, so message kutoka kwetu kwa wa Kenya ni kwamba kama serikali tumesema tunataka kujenga nyumba elfu miambili kila mwaka. 
hizi nyumba 1200 kila mwaka zitajengwa sehemu zote za Kenya sehemu zote za Kenya kufikia sasa mm-hmm. tuko na constituencies 178 na nane. Na nane, na nane uh-huh. ambayo tayari uh-huh. tuko na mipango Shamba katika viwango mbalimbali kabisa shamba imepatikana uh-huh. kwa constituencies 100 no, na tuko na shamba katika constituency zote constituency zote tuko na mashamba kumepatikana eh, mahali ya kujenga hizi manyumba lakini lazima kwa sababu kujenga lazima uanze assessment yes. kwa sababu pia lazima tuangalie eh, ni mahali gani, mahali gani iko karibu na infrastructure ili tusikuwe na gharama kubwa ya infrastructure kuna lami kuna, kuna, lami, kuna maji, maji itafika pale na gani namna gani italani pale namna gani eh, kabisa Yo. lakini zile ambazo zimepita hiyo eh, eh, line yes. ni 178 So tayari uh, constituencies 178 na nane wame kuwa assessed yes. na wamepita mtihani kwamba tunaweza kuanza kujenga Kabisa. nyumba. Kabisa. Sasa ile kazi inaendelea ni kuchora, ni kuchora, panga, alafu tutaweka eh, kandarasi, kandarasi uh-huh. alafu ndio tuta eh, tutaanza jenga. ujenzi. Umesema kwa hizi constituencies 29. Yes. Tayari, tayari umefanya kandarasi. Kandarasi tumefanya evaluation inamalizika hii wiki alafu tuta award alafu tutafanya ground breaking so naweza kuambia wa Kenya yes. katika mpango yetu ya nyumba 1200 kila mwaka mm-hmm. tayari kuna wa Kenya 1033 ambao wanafanya saving yes. wakielekeza kununua nyumba, nyumba. bado iko nafasi mm-hmm. ya karibu wa Kenya 1100 na sitini na kitu hapo na saba yes. ambao wako na nafasi ya kuanza kuanza uh-huh. ili nyumba ambazo tunajenga uh-huh. mbili kila mwaka yes. kuna nafasi ya wakenya kununua kabisa na hizi nyumba zitakuwa bei na gharama ya chini Kweli. kuliko zile ziko katika soko wakati huu kabisa na vile vile tunawaambia wakenya sio lazima ujulikane na mtu yeyote la kuwa katika hii mpango ya kununua nyumba uh-huh. ambazo e, ni za bei ya chini kupitia kwa mpango wa serikali kabisa kila mkenya ukitaka kuwa katika hii mpango kama unahitaji nyumba uh-huh. enda kwa simu yako uh-huh. star 832 hash. hash utakuwa kwa hii mtandao utakuwa kwenye mtandao alafu utasema unataka nyumba utaonyeshwa mahali kuna ma. mpango ya kujenga nyumba yes. ni nyumba kiasi gani ni one bedroom ni two, two bedroom, bedroom ni three bedroom, bedroom ni studio social ni house, social house ni, ni e, namna hii namna hii alafu utajipanga kuanzia hapo Kweli. lakini ya muhimu anza saving anza saving na unaweza kuanza na pesa kidogo shilingi 200 mm-hmm. unaweza kuweka pale unaweza kuweka pale unajua mkenya ataniuliza na nikiwa na 100 <laughs> ungoje ngoje ujasa ikuwe 200 alafu abu lakini ukiwa na 1000 endelea na ku na ku na ku na ku na kuchangia si namna hiyo namna hiyo tuko pamoja hapo tuko pamoja so na hiyo mpango sasa imeanza kwa kasi inaanza kwa kasi sasa sasa kwa sababu wa Kenya na bunge wamekubalia serikali katika ile 1.5% yes ambayo wa Kenya watalipia mm-hmm. na watalipiwa na wale wana waj, e, wamewaajiri mm-hmm. 1.5%. Mm-hmm. Itasaidia idara yako kwa njia gani katika hii mpango ya housing? Itatusaidia uh, uh, kwa njia hii your excellency. Sasa tuna wale uh, investors. Uh, tuko na over 200 investors ambao tume on board throughout the period wengi wao kama uli, uliona tulikuwa na nyumba tulikuwa tumeweka especially western side ya Kenya tulipeeka kandarasi tulipata tu wachukuzi wawili peke yake kwa sababu wakiangalia pale wanasema hawaoni ha, 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 ha kama kuna manufaa huko ama kuna watu wataka kununua nyumba so lakini tukiweka Nairobi na Kiambu na hapa karibu tulikuwa uh, na investors zaidi ya mia moja. sasa tunataka kuambia investor hivi wewe uje na pesa yako tutakupatia shamba mahali ujenge ukimaliza kujenga hizo nyumba kulingana na eh, ile makubaliano yetu utupatie ufunguo sisi tukulipe kwa maana sasa wa Kenya wanaanza kujumuisha pesa kila mwezi 
na tutakupatia hili kile kitu inaitwa oftic guarantee kwa hivyo kule nyamira ama kama ni kehancha you don't need to worry kama ni nani nanunua nyumba huko wewe unaona serikali na serikali inakuonyesha iko na pesa unalipa sisi tunabaki wa Kenya wenyewe wakijiallocate bila wewe investor kushindwa kama watawa afford ama hata afford alafu ya pili ya excellence hiyo pesa itatusaidia namna gani itatusaidia kupunguza ile riba interest rate interest rate sasa hizi uliona eh, juzi central bank wameongeza ile, eh, ile interest rate ni kumaanisha kama uko na mortgage huko nje labda karibu ifike 20% sasa hivi kwa huu mpango wa serikali kama uko social housing tunakupatia 3% na tunakupatia miaka 30 kulipa na ni fixed kwa hiyo hata interest rate ikienda juu yako haiongezeki wale wenye wako affordable housing watapata 5% again fixed mpaka miaka 30 hivyo tutaweza kufanya mtu ambaye ako wa chini kabisa anaweza pata nyumba a studio at 2500 ya social housing anaweza kupata one bedroom ya social housing at 4500 atapata two bedroom 6500 kwa affordable housing itakuwa ni 5000 10000 15000 kwa one bedroom two bedroom three bedroom respectively kwa hivyo hiyo kujumuisha ya pesa ndio imeweza kutuwezesha ku finance wa Kenya na pia kuondoa ile risk investor anasema hataki kujenga mahali hapa hivyo hiyo ndio hiyo levy inasaidia okay vile nimekusikia bwana Piers yes. umesema hivi mm-hmm. umesema hii hazina ya housing yes. ambayo sasa wa Kenya wanachangia itatusaidia mm-hmm. mali e, nne mm-hmm. ya kwanza mm-hmm. itawezesha sisi kujenga nyumba mahali ambapo kawaida mm-hmm. wale wanajenga manyumba mm-hmm. hawangeona ya kwamba kuna maana Kweli. so tunaweza kujenga nyumba kila sehemu ya Kenya kabisa hata mahali ambapo private investors hawangejenga hataki kwenda number 1 mm-hmm. number 2 mm-hmm. itatusaidia mm-hmm. kuhakikisha kwamba wale wa Kenya wa chini mm-hmm. ambao wanahitaji social housing correct wale ambao wanahitaji eh, affordable housing correct badala ya kulipa sasa interest mm-hmm. ya 15 18 mm-hmm. 20%, 20% correct yule mkenya wa social housing mm-hmm. tu, atalipa 3% 3% wale ambao ni wa affordable housing 5%, 5%. 5%. Yeah. so itatusaidia kupunguza ile riba ama Correct. interest yes. ili manyumba iwe affordable, affordable. vile vile mm-hmm. katika hiyo mpango yako ya kuambia invest mm-hmm. wewe jenga nyumba Correct. ukimaliza sisi tutakulipa mm-hmm. wewe uende tutajipanga na wakenya yes. vile hizi nyumba zita, wata, wataweza kuzi, kuzinunua Correct. pia itatusaidia mm-hmm kupiga bei mm-hmm. na huyo investor mwenye atajenga kweli hata jenga mm-hmm. kwa ile bei anataka hapana atajenga kwa ile bei tumekubaliana tumekubaliana naye kwa sababu tumtampatia mahali pa kujenga for free yes alafu pia tutampatia ile offtake yes hata asema wacha niongeze kiasi fulani mm-hmm. kwa sababu sijui ni market ta, market itakaa namna gani kweli market tunakubaliana na yeye mbele yeah. tumekubaliana tumekubaliana so itatusaidia katika hiyo mpango yote hebu nieleze mm-hmm. ardhi nyingi sehemu nyingi za Kenya unaona hapa Kiambu mm-hmm. mahali ambapo kulikuwa na kahawa mm-hmm. mahali ambapo kulikuwa na chai mm-hmm. watu wanabadilisha mm-hmm. wanaanza kujenga nyumba mm-hmm. unakuta watu kitengela mm-hmm. unakuta watu isinya ndio wale wamefika karibu kajiado wanatafuta mahali ya kujenga nyumba 50 by 100 correct itatusaidia vipi hii mpango mm-hmm. kuzuia mm-hmm. shamba ambayo tungetumia kuzalisha chakula mm-hmm. isitumike mm-hmm. katika hii mpango ya kuweka manyumba kila mahali itatusaidia sana your excellency kwa sababu sasa hizi hizi uh, 524 parcels ambazo tumejumuisha Kenya mzima E, ni kumaanisha tunaweza kama hapa Pakro tulikuwa na e, ekali saba mbeleni kulikuwa na watu 39 houses zilikuwa zin, pale hivi 39 wakati tumejenga tumejenga 1370 kwa hivyo ukichukua hiyo example tuende mahali kama Nyeri ambapo wanakuza chakula huko tupate ekali saba tujenge kama hizo watu wataacha kukatakata mashamba wanakuja kwenye ile settlement pale wanakaa ali kuna kuna stima, stima kuna maji mm-hmm. 
kuna sewage kuna maji kuna internet na pengine hospitali itakuwa hapo shule itakuwa hapo kwa mpango wetu ya excellency e, tunasema e, shule na hospitali zitakuwa within five minutes walking distance ili to create livable hizo human settlements so kwa hivyo hakuna haja sasa wewe kama ni mzazi kukatakata shamba ili ukatakatie e, e, watoto wako wasaidie kununua nyumba hapa wanaamka asubuhi wanaenda shamba wanalima waache kukatakata shamba hiyo ndio itatusaidia sana na pia tutakuwa mpaka na vitu kama cemetery ambapo mahali tunazika watu tuache kuzika watu kwenye mashamba pia so tutahakikisha kwamba tunabadilisha mahali ya kulima yes. tunalima chakula right. ndio tuanze kupunguza gharama ya chakula kwa kuhakikisha kwamba hatutumii shamba ya kuzalisha chakula, chakula. kujenga yes. manyumba kweli tumekubaliana hapo tumekubaliana hapo very good yeah anything else you want us Ileki to say ile ya mwisho ni umuhimu wa housing na the value chain hapa ume, ume, waziri wangu amekueleza hicho kiti na najua your excellence unaweza sema hicho kiti ni very comfortable. Aiko mbele sana hii kiti. Ni very very comfortable. Yes. Kila kitu unaona hapa mpaka ile ya kuhang jacket iko pale nyuma umeficha kidogo. Tutakuingiza mpaka bedroom hapa hivi. Zote zimetengenezwa na watu wa jua kali tuko na chairman na jamaa wa Ngong Road hapa hivi. Ndio wametengeneza kila kitu wamezitengeneza like in the last 48 hours. Kwa sababu zingine tumeorder hivi karibuni. Ni kumaanisha kwamba your excellence katika hizi kandarasi ambazo tutakuwa nazo kuna vitu ambazo tutaondoa tuseme lazima tujenge hapa Kenya. Kwa hivi sasa tumejumuisha 69 items ambazo tumesema hata tukipoa kwa for free kutoka nje tutasema wacha tujitengenezee hapa because there is another bigger agenda. Na ni hii watu ya jua kali na, na kazi. Kwa hivyo na hiyo ndiyo muhimu sana kwa sababu ajira kwa Kenya tumekuwa na shida kubwa sana. Sasa hii ni mpango mmoja ambavyo tutaweza kwa patiana kazi. Huyu mtu wa jua kali. Eh bwana mkubwa. Unaitwa? Mohia. Mohia. Bwana Mohia. Katika hii mpango ya housing wewe kama mtu wa jua kali, nyinyi ndio mnatengeneza madirisha, nyinyi ndio mnatengeneza milango, nyinyi ndio mnachoma eh, ile mali yote ambayo inatumika pale, mnatengeneza hinges natengeneza product zote ambazo zinatumika katika ujenzi hii program ya housing itasaidia vipi watu wa jua kali kwanza ni kukushukuru sana mr price kwa vile tulianza ile pilot project na tukaona umuhimu ya hiyo project ati tunaweza fanya kazi kubwa sio lazima wale makadarasi wakubwa wafanye hizo kazi kitu ya kwanza tulifunzwa kufanya hizo kazi na na hali nyingine ya ujuu sana so across the board watu wote wanaweza kuwa wameingia kutoka kwa level nyingine mzuri sana ambapo kila mtu anaweza kuzungumzia quality of the product quality of the product una make sure that iko quality nzuri measurement eh, unajua mesh- una, unajua sisi vile tunafanyanga kazi ilikuwa eh, kienyeji kidogo kienyeji kidogo sasa mmeweka line ile group tuko naye na nataka kukusaidia kwa hii group nyingine tunataka kufanya kila mtu wa jua kali au yako sawa sawa ile mashida tulipata pale tusiwe na nyingine hapo ndio tuweze kuwezesha watu wetu wafanye kazi vizuri na hii ni so, kitu kingine naweza kukushukuru sana ni maneno ya furniture ngongo road unatujua wewe najua ni mmoja wetu kabisa correct. umetusupport kabisa hata umechukua mafundi wangu kapeleka Loret siku nyingine yeah. vizuri yeah. <laughs> sana but tunataka exposure tukipata tu exposure watu wanaweza hata tengenezea kitu nyumba ya nyumba nyumba ya nyumba na mtu analete kwa display pahali kama Correct. hapa tukipatiwa safety the prizes tunatengeneza one quarter hapa yes. tunaleta vitu kama venye umeziona i hope hakuna mtu hajafurahia vitu ziko hapa no hii kitu iko mbele yeah. sasa tukipata ni exposure lakini imekaa kama wiki kama tatu hii kama haijanunuliwa uh, lakini ikikuja hapo watu 100 wanaiuliza yes <laughs> so tungetaka <laughs> Wana tayari yulizi. watu wanne wameulizia kununua hii nimekaa nayo mwezi karibu mbili huko workshop eh. sasa unaona tukipatiwa exposure tutue na kitu kidogo tu kama exhibition quarterly yes. yes ama any any count every county very good watu wote wakitengeneza wazina kuangamana pahali moja zinauzwa tu nitaambia waziri wa trade apange hiyo mambo ya ndio wa Kenya sana. wajue yeah. ile products tuko nazo products jua kali inatengeneza ndio waache kwenda kununua hizi vitu kutoka sijui dunia gani China China tunataka tulete tu mashini na wachaina wawili wa kutufunza <laughs> wakashao malisa 
Wanapanda ndege tu sisi tunabaki tu kuwatengenezea furniture. Sio kuleta vitu kama hizi huko. Sasa tunataka tuwe upscaled. Yes. Eh na the next few years kila mtu anakuwa very good. Hapo sawa kabisa. Mzee amekaa karibu na wewe. Eh alikuwa acha kwa mbitu kwa dakika tu moja. Okay. Mheshimiwa rais kwa majina yangu ni Joseph Ngige Kairu ambaye anaishi pande ya Rweru siku hizi. Na hizo anaishi wapi? Pande ya Rweru. Rweru Kiambu County. Sub County, Rweru Sub County, Kiambu County. Na nimewahi kuwa bereni hapo utumishi wa serikali, Civil Servant. Nimefanya kazi hapa Kahawa kama Civil Servant miaka 31. Niliingia nili 1964, nikatoka 1960, 1995. Kwa hivyo nikaenda nika ndio nilijenga kanyumba kidogo hapo Rwiru, ndio nikaleta family yangu hapo. Kwa hivyo ndio ndio nikaa hapo Rwiru sasa. Ah hiyo miaka niko naye. Niliangalia hii muradi nikaona hapana kwa maana mimi sijaajiriwa na hakuna mtu anaweza kulipa kibarua uzuri niingie kwa hii kwa hii muradi niliingia hii muradi mwaka wa 2019 ndio nilianza nilianza kwa safe kidogo 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 sasa angalau niko na pesa kiasi <laughs> kwa hivyo mimi ningeuliza kila mmoja yeye wazee kwa vijana wazee kwa vijana wajiunge na hii muradi kwa maana iko na faida utapata rumu yako moja ama mbili ama tatu kulingana na mapato yako kwa nini usitoe so naona hapa mzee ume ume save kuanzia tarehe nane januari eh, oh ulianza zamani kidogo alianza huko chini 2019 2019 eh, naona uli save 2019 ume save eh, 1000 1000 2000 200 10000 eh, pale november hii 10000 ulikuwa umeuza kitu <laughs> kidogo kidogo eh, eh, naona ume save hapo ndio hiyo 20000 1000 20000 umefikisha ndio hii 550. Ndio ningeuliza hata vivi nyingi kwa hii kwa boma yangu hii. Vijana mjiunge na hii Sasa unataka hawa wengine wote wajiunge. Wajiunge kwa kupenda kwenu. So nia yako nia yako kwa hii mpango unategea nyumba gani? Mimi nataka rumu moja tu. Eh wapi ume ume identify mahali starehe. Pale starehe. Starehe. Unangojea hiyo ya starehe? Tayari ume 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 identify ni gani? Which room? Room eh uko na bedroom ngapi? Unataka one bed? Room moja tu. Ile one bed. Eh eh. Unataka kutumia kwa njia gani? Nataka kukaa ndio hii makumbusho yangu. Yes. Kwa vile nimekaa kahawa hapa na ni Nairobi. Eh sasa na moja. Nataka kuonyesha watoto wangu. Ile jacho nilikuwa nafanya hapa kahawa ndio hii. Nika dadi na moja. Azad. Azad sana. Azad sana. Shukrani. Mheshimiwa Rais, huyu mzee amefanya bidii kabisa. Na alikuwa civil servant. Hata mimi nilikuwa civil servant, nilikuwa na save kidogo kidogo, ame save over 500. Mimi nitamuongeza 300 tuongeze kwa ile yake. Asa tumpigie kura Rikiji jameni. Sikuma kusukuma hii mzee. Si ndio? Hii ni sawa. Hii ni sawa. Unataka niongeze kitu hata mimi? Amesema ata Amesema ata kuongezea 300. Asante. 1300. Sawa sawa. Shukrani sana. No na waziri amesema ata kuongezea 100. Amesema umefanya bidii sana. Hiyo ni mzuri sana. Sawa sawa. Eh? Eh, 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 wa, lazima sasa wafuatilie pia sasa fuatilia yeah? na hata mimi wacha nitaongeza basi ya mama ya yeah, huyu mama mama nyaboke nikuongezee 500 ndio ifike 
Ndiyo sasa tuendelee namna hiyo. So asante sana. Thank you very much. Your Excellency, we are now moving to the financial services. We have Equity Bank here. Excellency, uh, this is um, a very visionary step of integrating private sector and government and offering the entire infrastructure or backbone for the convenience of citizens. So we've been able to load the 5,000 uh, 5, government services to all our infrastructure. So whether it is Equitel, which talks of my money, my phone, my life. So my life is this is completed by the 5,000 services, whether it's marriage, business registration. Then we have put it uh, in the equity super app so that for the young generation, they don't need um, the SDK, they, they're on the mobile. Then we have used uh, USSD uh, so that all the phones in the country can interface with our system. And then uh, for the business SMEs, we have integrated it with our internet solution for business, the payment platform. So there's no business, whether it's micro or small, it has a payment capability. And then for rural areas where they may not be very integrated, then the agents. So the agents, 40,000 agents uh, have access now to that capability. They can receive all the 5,000 payments. And then uh, the 200 equity branches, uh, are also connected. So today we have an agent here, and we can see, and we have a branch how here, and how we have simplified it. Okay. So the most important thing is um, uh, the triple, triple two, two, triple two. two. So it's as easy as that. But um, from research, we believe if we digitize 10% uh, of uh, the economy, mm -hmm. we'll be able to uh, achieve a 1% growth of GDP. Yeah, GDP. So, and that is the secret, and, uh, and that is the power of integration of private sector. Your Excellency, thank you. <laughs> so, uh, what, what you are saying, James, is that you have uh, how many uh, agents across Kenya? 40,000. 40,000 agents. So, I can tell the people of Kenya that you can now access government services, the 5,000 government services, if you go to uh, any agent of uh, equity, they will also have an app for the 5,000 government services. Is that correct? That's true, Your Excellency. So and they, don't, they, don't, they don't have to travel to uh, looking for a government office. They don't need to look for a government office. We have integrated the, uh, business and government. So they can come if they want to know w what uh, their electricity bill is, what uh, their status of uh, land is, they can come to the equity agent Indent. and uh, operate the, 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 uh, the facility there and they can have access to government service. That's true, Your Excellency. But more important, they can also go to their app. They can uh, do this, uh, all this, including the... our diaspora. Okay. They can use the app to pay for their families back at home, government services. People paying late. Uh, those who have prots, they can pay for the prots uh, from the U.S. or any other country using the infrastructure of the bank. You're also saying I don't have to go to the Ministry of Land's office. Absolutely, you are excellent. I can either operate it on my phone or I can, if I don't have a, a smartphone, I you go to the agent. I go to the agent and we have the equity agents, 40,000. I am told we have uh, 250,000 Safaricom uh, agents also who work with you, 
and, and, uh, and Excellency, we are also integrating pay with equity merchants or the shops, which are 900,000. That is phase two of integration. So that we will have more than a million uh, points uh, through which uh, So government can services pay. will be available everywhere? Everywhere, including at the village level. The village shop, Your yes. Excellency. And you don't have to look for the DC's office, or I don't know whose office. The DC's office has come to the phone. Gava Mashinani. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. So. So, uh, paying for, uh, um, I'll be paying for my good conduct. Yes, certificate uh, of good conduct. Yes. I will go to government and tax payments. I'll select e-citizen. And then I will input the reference number that I have generated from the portal. I have it here with me. I have it here with me, KMWD. Then I, it will validate. Uh, let me try again. Yes, it will validate it. Then I have to input the amount that I meant to pay for good conduct. That is 1050. Just add, uh, sorry, I just add 1005. That is okay. Then I proceed with payment. I input my agent PIN. I proceed with the transaction. It will ask me whether I'll be paying for this amount. I agree. And then it will print a receipt. And then once it prints the receipt, I will go to the portal, complete the transaction. Then I can print the receipt from the portal. I go take my fingerprints at the DCI's office. And then I'll wait for my good. Exactly. No risk okay. of carrying money. Yeah. And, and, and you don't have to pay more than what? No. No, no yes. charge. There is no facilitation fee. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Asante Sana. Thank you very much. Karibu, Your Excellency, to Cooperative Bank. Welcome to Cooperative Bank, Your Excellency. You can have a seat here, then I take you shortly on the things we are doing. Thank you. Thank you, Excellency. So, Cooperative Bank has. Um, been at the forefront of uh, government integrations. Right now, Your Excellency, KRA, NSF, NHIF, you're able to pay uh, through our uh, MCOP Cash Point, which is a mobile platform. We've also been able, Your Excellency, to be able to pay the elderly through the Inua Jami. Yesterday and today, we are paying all of them, and we are giving them those services across the, the 17,000 COP Kwajiran agents. They don't need to walk to the branch. Uh, those who have cards can also access that. We've also been able to support government on food security through the KSEP, Kenya Cereal uh, Enhancement Program, where we have 100,000 farmers who are able to get e-vouchers, to get inputs, fertilizer, and other services. Uh, and that's what we are doing to entrench government. Now, Your Excellency, the only remaining leg that is remaining is for us to integrate on the e-citizen. And um, um, Treasury is supporting that so that we get onto that. Our new core banking system, which is a seven billion uh, system, is live now, last two weeks. So we'll be able to support government to take services closer to the people. Thank you. So um, you are aware, sorry. So you are aware, uh, Mr. Marango, yes. that uh, we now have 5,084 government services available on the e-citizen platform. And we are seeking a collaboration with you so that you have how many uh, agents across the country? Your Excellency, we have 22,000. 22,000 22, agents. Yes. yes. You think it will be possible for the 22,000 agents to, um, uh, to have our government services on their portal and citizens can be able to access them? Immediately we integrate with the e-citizen that would be very possible. They will be able to access that. Yes. Even right now, yes. they are accessing other services okay. without even the full integration. Okay. Yes. So how do you think, how long do you think that integration will take? We, in two weeks' time, Two weeks. Treasury just need to give us a letter to proceed. Where is the Treasury people? Where, where, where? Waziri. Will you make sure? Yes, sir. Yeah? You will communicate? Yes. So yes. that we can have these uh, services online yeah. and citizens don't have to look for government service everywhere. Yes. They either can access government service on the phone, and by the way, yes. we are well on course with uh, uh, our telcos yes, in making sure that 
we will have in the next by August, we will have a smartphone yes, sir. affordably yes. working between the government of Kenya and our telcos yes. of uh, forty dollars, which is like five thousand five thousand five thousand four hundred. Yes. You can now have a smartphone where all government services, including what you people are yes. looking for, will be available. Yes. Is that okay? And the excellence on revenue collection, Governor Sakaja is here for Nairobi County. We are collecting his revenues and also for KRA and 27 other counties. Okay. Yes. Very good. They are supporting you. Congratulations. It is our intention that, you know, for a very long time, government sub accessing government services has been a very painful exercise people go to a government office sometimes it is closed the fellow who is supposed them is, is uh, sick or has gone to kujibinjari malifulani they can only find a court you know hanged in some desk and it is sometimes a very painful exercise so we are trying to make government efficient yes sir we are trying to make government eff uh, effective yes. by making sure that you don't have to queue, you don't have to travel, you don't have to pay pass fare. You can access government from the comfort of your village, either on your phone yes. or on all the other agents, whether it is equity, whether it is Coop Bank yes, like sir. you, all the other banks. And of course, we are collaborating with Safaricom to make sure that their infrastructure also is made available to citizens as a place where they can access government service. Thank you very much, Your Excellency. You were ready you. to work with us on we that? We are Panama ready to work with you, yes. ready from day one. Ready from day one? Yes. And it's not going to cost any, any, any extra penny? No penny to the government and to the client. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Your Excellency. Karibu sana to KCB Bank. and explain uh, about the e-Citizen Bank. Uh, we've been together with the e-Citizen program since 2014, when they had only five services on it. Uh, now there are over 5,000 services and we are very proud supporters. If I can just show you here uh, what the post looks like, that is at all our agents, um, both in country, you can see there are e-Citizen services, on our apps, on our USSD star, 522 hash, 844, HASH, all of them are carrying e-citizen services. Yes. And the intention is that even the ones who are, we have over 6,000 e-agents around the world, all of them are carrying uh, the e-citizen services as well. And our intention is to ensure that Gavam Kononi is published on our channels as well and availed across the entire network of the bank and across the group. So it is our pleasure, truly, to work with the government. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Madam. And I want to say thank you very much for, to KCB yes. for being a partner with the government of Kenya on the delivery of uh, the e-citizen platform. Yes. The e-citizen platform, as you are aware, we undertook that we were going to run a digital government. Yes. And my undertaking was that we're going to get at least 5,000 government services by 30th June which is today. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I am happy that we have managed to cross the line. You know, we are at 5,080 and 84. Uh, 5,084. Our intention, you know, when we, when we came into office, we thought, we estimated that government services were around 7,000. But I think after now starting the digitization process, there are actually much more. I think we are discovering government services every day that need to be digitized. And therefore, it might go actually to between 9,000, maybe 10,000. Is that okay? Is that correct, Wazir? So although we have crossed the 9,000 mark, our intention is that by the end of this year, all government services, if there are 10,000 or whatever number they are, they must be on. Uh, on e-citizen platform, they must be available digitally. Yes. And part of what we are doing to make sure that as government go to the as the government services go to the digital platform, mm. citizens mm. must also have access mm. to uh, the internet mm. because if they are available online, 
and citizens cannot go online, then it becomes difficult. And that is why we are rolling out the 100,000 uh, kilometers of new fiber optic backbone. We are also doing 1,450 uh, um, hubs, hubs in every ward. We are doing 25,000 hotspots across Kenya so that citizens can have access to the whole of that uh, ecosystem. Now, let me ask you, the e-citizen platform with uh, 5,000 now and 84 um, uh, services, there is a dedicated government uh, pay channel, yes. triple two, triple two. Is that correct? Yes, triple two, triple, triple two. Triple two, triple two. Yes. And the expectation, the expectation of the government of Kenya is that all government revenue must now go through triple two, triple two, so that Treasury can have sight of every government service that is paid for. And I'm going to be making an announcement here that in the next 90 days, yes. all other pay bills, mm. all other pay bills must mm. be shut down because we have a problem of some of the pay bills that even we cannot account for. Mm. We have close to 1,000 plus pay bills mm. all over the place by all manner of people, mm. some of which we don't even have sight of. Yes. They must now be closed down yes. and all government money will be paid through triple two, triple two, that goes to the treasury. Yes. And then the treasury will uh, make sure that that whole ecosystem, if there is money going to a and &E, uh, they should go back to the, minister, the respective ministries, departments, and, uh, and, uh, and agencies. Yes. What is um, KCB as the bank that is working with us? What steps have you taken to make sure mm. that that whole ecosystem around triple two, triple two mm. is safe and works for the people of Kenya? And what is the connection between you and Treasury in that system? Okay. So we are the settlement bank for e-citizens. So all the payments will end up in the government accounts that are held in KCB Bank. Our intention is to ensure, because the convenience for all Kenyans is to have the option that regardless of where your source of funds is, whether you, you're carrying cash, you want to do it on mobile, you want to do it from card, you want to do it from out of the country, all of it must terminate through one channel and into one account. And that is what will ensure then that there is confidence that revenue assurance is being tracked. So our intention as the organization that is tasked with the responsibility of ensuring that the government funds are followed to every cent, that this is channeled through one path. And regardless of the source of funds, though, then the Kenyan can be able to, regardless of what, whether you're carrying cash, you can go to any agent, regardless of the bank, regardless of the location or where you are, but all of it, at the end of the day, will channel through one path. So maybe another thing that I would want to mention now that we are discussing this whole ecosystem, apart from making sure that there are no multiplicity of pay bills, yes. you know, by, by government agencies, number one. Mm. Number two, all payments. Mm. No citizen should be told, go and pay for this service using this pay bill. No. no. All Kenyans must know if I have to pay for a government service, it has to be triple two, triple two, yes. number one. Mm. Number two, even if I have to pay cash, yeah, mm. somebody should not tell a Kenyan, go and deposit this cash in bank account X. Mm. No. no, 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 no. No bank account X anymore. Yes, yes. If it has to be uh, in cash, go get the cash. Get it into a uh, pay bill. Uh, yes, go to the agent, put the, it in the, that pay bill. Yes, put it in that pay bill. And, yes, and so the that payment we, completes. We are, we are all clear. Mm. There is no government revenue being put in accounts mm. which nobody knows where it is going. Yes. For citizens to know that I am paying for a government service, yes. Yes. it must end up in triple two, triple two. two. Yes. We, All of it will be channeled through that one channel. Very good. And yes. the holder of that account is Treasury. Yes. yes. The holder of that the account. Owner of the account is the, the owner of the account is Treasury. Yes. 
so the money will go to treasury yes. or it will it go, go to, to kcb <laughs> It will go to Treasury. Yes. Uh, it must the, go to Central Bank. Yeah, they are To channel it yes. because uh, the, the connectivity must be in place. Yes. That is what your bank is good for. Okay. Yes. Thank you very much. Thank you, Excellency. Thank you. Thank you, Your Excellency. You are now entering the Ministry of Health. Hello. 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 How are you? Fine. Thank you, sir. Yes, Welcome to the Ministry. Yes, uh -huh. yes. Thank you very much, Your Excellency. This is the Ministry of Health, together with my PSS and my technical teams here. Your Excellency, one of your agenda is digitization. So what we have done at the Ministry, we have developed our digitization vision board. This is how it looks like, Your Excellency, that you have already given us an enabling environment based on your pronouncements. And based on this, we are working together with the Ministry of ICT that has provided for us the national ICT infrastructure to ensure that there's connectivity through the local area network, wide area network, and fiber. We are working together very well, and they are assisting us even in development of our other areas. Your Excellency, at the middle here, this is the National Core Digital Health Services. And in this National Core Digital Health Services, Your Excellency, what you see in green, Kenya Community Health Unit Registry, Kenya National Health Terminology, Kenya Health Facility Registry, we have already achieved. That is why they're in green. To mean that we know all the facilities that are within this country under the Kenya Health Facility Registry. We also know the Kenya Community Health Unit Registry. Remember, we have our community health promoters that link up to the community health unit. We already know what it is. And we have the terminology area. Your Excellency, we are working together with the Ministry of Interior so that we have the unique identifier. Once we have it, then we go ahead and continue development of the Kenya Client Registry. That the unique identifier from Ministry of Interior is the same one that a Kenyan will use to access services all throughout. Your Excellency, last week we launched with you the Human Resource Advisory Council. We want to have a registry of all health workers, that we know who they are, we know their cadres, we know how many years of services they have already done, when they will be retiring, and we can as well know how we transfer them from one facility to the other based on need. Your Excellency, all this done, we have a national shared health records. This national uh, shared health records, Your Excellency, means if a Kenyan is accessing health services from whatever point, they don't need to move around with any kind of documentation. Remember, there are places that you go and you spend time because we want to fungua file. So we shall no longer have kufungua file. You have your unique identifier that you walk through, and the records here are shared. Should one be transferred from one level of service to the other, they will find their records there. Your Excellency, on this other side, we have what we call the support services, where we have the electronic claims management system. The issues that we are having at NHIF, Your Excellency, those are going to be a thing of the past. Because as you move through the services, there is an invoice that is being generated automatically. Your Excellency, it is based on the costed items that we did. We have an itemized invoice. So the people here, their work is just to do claims management. Then we have telemedicine, Your Excellency, and we also have the National Logistics Supply Chain Management Service. This is where our KEMSA for health products will plug in. All the brokers in between. We are working towards removing them, Your Excellency. On this side is what we call point of care. And Your Excellency, you'll be pleased to know that one of our national referral hospitals, Moi Teaching and Referral Hospitals, you can book for an appointment online from your phone. You go through, you find they are prepared for you. Every point of care that you go through, your name and your details are already there. That is what we call point of care that will take care of inpatient and outpatient. Your Excellency, we have itches. This is our app for the community health promoters. We have already trained them. They'll be collecting data. All this data then filters through to the national shared health records. We have a digital kiosk, Your Excellency. This digital kiosk is meant to create employment for the many qualified health workers who do not have a place to practice. That through their gadgets, then they can link up and even provide uh, services to patients. And lastly, we have other point of care. Your Excellency, all this that you see here is the Kenya Health Interoperability Services. To mean all facilities, including uh, Nairobi County, they have some form of digitization. 
but now we are providing this platform so that they are able to link through. Our aspiration, Your Excellency, is that all Kenyans will own their records. Besides owning, they will control who accesses and how they access at each point of care. Let's go to the next one. Your Excellency, this is a patient journey. Should one get unwell, this is where they start from, from the community level, through our community health promoters, through this uh, application, ECAIS. And all this is logged on to the New Excellency. They come to the facility level where they are provided for services, depending on the level, it could be level two, level three, up to level six, where there's referral. Your Excellency, the previous I showed you, this is now electronic claims, where our reformed NHIF is going to be, and the other social health insurance scheme. Your Excellency, then we have the back to the committee for those who need rehabilitation services. They'll be sent back to the community and we have our shared health records. Your Excellency, we have moved further at the ministry. We have a total of 28 active agencies. Of the 28 active agencies, 12 have already onboarded on eCitizen. We have mapped out all the services that we need to onboard on eCitizen Almost 590 are mapped, but 414 are already linked on eCitizen. Let me allow my, my peers to demonstrate the other two. Thank you, Excellency. Just to demonstrate to you, we have a few of those uh, services that have been onboarded. One is through Damu Kenya. We call it Damu KE. The Damu KE is an end-to-end -end management information system that automates workflows of the management of blood and blood products from vein to vein national meaning from the donor to the recipient. The system facilitates uh, track and traces the, um, assuring the transparency, accountability of the donated blood because we want to make sure that that blood that has been donated is accounted and can be traced back to who donated this blood. So this system, is, uh, your excellence, it's all in the, here is where you do the registration. So the citizen comes and his or her data will be captured. Uh, and once that is captured, we. Then the end here is uh, the do donation certificate. But in between here is what takes place, screening of the blood and all those things. All that now online. So that's the certificate, Your Excellency. And then uh, this is the pharmacovigilance electronic reporting system where we give the, the patients to, re to report cases of where there's adverse reaction or where they suspect that some of these uh, medications that was given are not correct. So we have also about, uh, put this in the e-citizen where they register and this will be how they will be worked on. And then finally, there is a certificate, there is a registration a form that they will get, they will fill. So this is the form they, they fill when they have suspected adverse drug reaction where they report that they have these cases. Thank you. Uh, we have to, uh, Jali. This is a very interactive system, Your Excellency. And uh, this one now calls upon that if you have your Mobile, we can start. As a citizen, my colleague will show you how the citizens would access it. But the most important thing is the WhatsApp number 7007197719. Yes, that's how it works, Your Excellency. Once you scan, then you're taken to WhatsApp and you're able to ask any question that you would want the chat box to. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Gives you the menu. And therefore, I'll ask my PS to type 10, this locator. It locates to you the, the, the facility that is closest to you. A link that you can click on. It tells you what facilities are next to you that then you can go okay. to access services. So those are the services. And they tell you how far it is. I can yes. see on the side. They give you the distance. Okay. 
So, um, Waziri and your team, uh, what is very important to the ordinary person, Parle Nyumbani, ni kujua how are community health promoters, yeah? What kind of service are they going to offer? And the data they collect from citizens, how have you made it possible for that data to be aggregated so that we can know what is the prevailing, you know, disease burden situation in every part of Kenya? Thank you, Your Excellency. The community health promoters have a gadget. On that gadget, we have an app. The gadget will be supplied by the government of Kenya. By the government of Kenya, Your Excellency. The over 100,000 community health promoters, each will have a gadget. That gadget has an application, the EKS. Besides that, Your Excellency, each community health promoter has a kit. Inside that kit, they have basic first aid. They equally have those things that they can use to check the temperatures, to check the, the blood pressure of each member of the individual household. They will collect that data through the ECAIS application. Let's go to ECAIS. And on the ECAIS application, Your Excellency, are you able to open it live, the ECAIS? That after they collect that data on ECAIS, we able to have access because it then reports to the national health record services through the, the call that I explained previously. And from the national uh, level, Your Excellency, we are able even to tell how many times a community health promoter has visited a household. If they have not visited, we are able to tell from the ECAIS from the national level. Then together with the counties, we are able to redirect them and tell them that this community health promoter hasn't visited. You see like here, Your Excellency, this, it is showing that they, are, they visited a household that has mother and newborn, and they are in two days' time, they should be visited. This one here was not visited. Jane Kamau, this is a household. They ought to have gone, but they did not go. They were due yesterday. So this, uh, this uh, application, Your Excellency, it is able to assist us to monitor the performance of community health promoters. Very good. And based on the data that they are collecting here, you can see, we can generate reports now. Very good. And based on these reports, then we can even tell what is the prevalence of disease in certain parts of the country. Mm -hmm. We use it for the national decision making in terms of where should we focus on specialists, where should we focus on the health products to procure. Okay. Waziri, one more question. Yes, sir. You know the big problem we've always had with health commodities and cancer. Yes. How is this process of digitization, which uh, you know we discussed, how will this process of digitization assist us to get rid of the challenges we have at, uh, at KEMSA? Thank you, Your Excellency. Now, on this call, Your Excellency, we have point of care. Point of care, they are recording what is happening at each level. For example, if a pharmaceutical drug is being dispensed, paracetamol at each level, it is visible here on, uh, on the digital system. When it is being dispensed here, the person at the end, HPT supplier, that is KEMSA, they are able to see that this drug is going down. So then it assists them in their operations to ensure that then they reorder and restock on that. On the other end of KEMSA, Your Excellency, are the manufacturers and vendors that they are able then to monitor stocks within here. So what this system is doing, Your Excellency, it is removing the brokers that were in between. In terms of, and the, what they were doing is just to increase the cost of products. So now with this system, it cuts out. Because KEMSA has visibility of usage of the products on this end. And on this side, they have control because they have communication with the suppliers and the manufacturers of the items, Your Excellency. Similarly, Your Excellency, this system, it eliminates all the issues that we have had regarding claims at NHIF. Because we have an electronic claims management system here. When this patient is going through all the services, information is being collected. So now you cannot introduce a fake patient in between, neither can we introduce a fake service in between because we have an itemized invoice being managed with an electronic claims management system. Wonderful. Thank you, Your Excellency. Thank you very much. Thank you, Your Excellency. Welcome to the Minister of ICT.
welcome your excellency this is the ministry of ict here we want to espouse how we are leveraging on ict to deliver the entire government development agenda your excellency you are aware that in your government's bottom-up economic transformation agenda the digital superhighway is a standalone thematic area because it is an enabler to all facets of what we want to do and also a critical success factor moving forward so we will illustrate how far we have gone in the delivery of digital infrastructure where we have the establishment and operationalization of the 25,000 free Wi-Fi hotspots, the 1,450 village digital hubs, the rollout of the 100,000 kilometers of fiber, the setting up of the data centers, and then how through the office of the data commissioner we are coming up with an elaborate risk mitigation framework that ensures both data privacy and data security. On the flip side of it, Your Excellency, with that infrastructure in place, we are also going to illustrate how we are leveraging on ICT to move away from the traditional way of doing business to e-commerce. We will also illustrate how we are facilitating exploit, uh, uh, optimal exploitation of the potential of the creating, creative industry through our studio machinani which is domiciled within the Kenya Broadcasting Corporation. We will also illustrate, Your Excellency, how through ICT we are facilitating virtual registration of journalists through the Media Council of Kenya. So we'll start with PS Professor Kisangani to illustrate what we have here with respect to e-commerce. Thank you, Your Excellency. Our journey has been a long one from this booth. I'm sure you used it one time as you are calling people are still queuing to pick it but you can see we have moved even in terms of the post offices we are no, we are no longer using it. some services are not going through this because they are digital you can deliver letters through the courier services but as you can see from this uh, this uh, this illustration post office has already done 772 services uh, passports delivered through this uh, pro procedure and we can still do other things in agriculture and so long as you just make your order you can make your order and the pay and the poster can deliver even to the last mile so that's where we are and we are no longer storing money in the, in the, in, the, in, the stro in boxes and strong rooms now we can use the digital transformation to to do that uh, so i think you you could say cs has mentioned something about uh, registration of journalists your excellency and this is where the Media Council is. They have been registering uh, journalists. All you need is to make an application using your phone, and then you will have to be approved and then registered. So anytime they come to functions like this one of yours, they will be just checked, and then that verification can be done, Your Excellency. And I think this is a pet project to you. You have been talking about uh, talent building. Uh, Studio Machinani is here. They are, they are just demonstrating the, the, the training that we, we undertake at Studio Machinani. Uh, as they develop talent in music and acting and KBC is on it and it has been doing a very good job so here is where we shall have the creative economy developed from from our KBC studios and then we make money out of that thank you I then your excellency let's come to the digital infrastructure here uh, PS Tanui will take us through the digital infrastructure and other facets of our digital transformation agenda welcome your excellency uh, Supporting all the other sectors is one of our role to ensure we deliver for support health, uh, agriculture, and all the others, and to support a real transformational agenda. This we are building the infrastructure across the country, the 100,000 kilometers. We have identified all the points that we are going to deploy, and we are going to work with private sector and uh, also public sector institutions. And the main five points, uh, Your Excellency, on the digital super highway are this rollout of the 25,000, 1,450 automation of government services, implementation of the fiscal addressing system to support e-commerce and the digital skills uh, that will focus on jobs and entrepreneurship. Your Excellency, to ensure we connect effectively, we are going to also explore new solutions like this uh, satellite solution one of the satellite solutions that can be used where there is no fiber will connect. And Your Excellency, the digital um, 
super highway goes to the device, and this is one of the, the, the devices that we are working with the private sector. Michael is from Savaricom. These are the devices. First week of, <laughs> first week of uh, August, yes. around there, I, you I start want you having. to speak to that. I had a, a candid discussion with Safaricom, all the other telcos. You people told me 28th of July, you will have the first rollout of the $40 uh, smartphone. Can you speak to that? Your Excellency, thank you for your, your, your patience and your memory. Um, so these are the sample devices that we are, are working through. That is the six and a half inch, and that is the five inch. So this is the, the, the entry phone, um, entry smartphone, and this is the six and a half uh, smartphone. Um, these are actually the test devices that we're working through um, testing and to be submitted to for more, for, for more approval from a testing perspective. From a timeline perspective, we are working through Oh, sorry. We, we are working through the, the um, process of the factory setup. The first part of the assembly equipment is now um, in country and being cleared. Um, we are looking at the next um, couple of weeks. So we are fairly confident in saying that in August, we will have the... August, are out. you telling me to tell Kenyans that in August, they can buy one of these phones from your enterprises? Your Excellency, in August, we expect that the factory will be producing phones that will be ready to go to market. In, in August. August? In August. In August? In August. This year? August 2023. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thank you, you said it. Your Excellency, to grow the digital economy and your track investment, we have the Office of the Data Protection Commissioner. She can speak about some of the things she's doing. Uh, thank you, Excellency, and welcome to our stand. Our role as the Office of the Data Commissioner in this to spoof the digital economy. And you know in the era of digital economy, there's a lot of information exchanging, and that is personal data. So we are responsible for making sure that is safe towards digital economy. To your excellency, because of the, the data protection regime, we are able to get more investors into the country so that they are able to invest in this economy. Thirdly, your excellency, as an office, all our services are online. We have registration. Your Excellency, you launched the portal. As we speak, we have a portal here to show we have over 3,000 who have registered since January this year. Also, we have complaints. Anyone who is, just to give Kenyans confidence, if there is a, there, there is a breach in as far as their data is concerned, they can file a complaint with us, Your Excellency. Thank you. Thank you, Your Excellency. And here we have uh, one of our entities, Cons and... Um, ICT authority and helping us to implement most of our programs. Okay. Welcome. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Your Excellency. Welcome to the ICT authority. We provide technology to power government digitization. And uh, for us, the aim is to, imp to improve the quality of life, accelerate economic growth, raise uh, productivity and national competitiveness. Your Excellency, we have walked uh, a long journey uh, in the area of automation, as you've seen from the old technology. But really what we are looking at is uh, establishing and coming up with an intelligent government where all entities uh, speak to each other and it is uh, citizen-centric. We are guided by uh, one point of reference. We have put together all our plans uh, to support all the sectors in one uh, plan, which we are calling the ICT Master Plan. Uh, and this plan is also providing investors with opportunities where they can be able to plug in in the sector. We do have uh, under the plan four uh, key pillars, Your Excellency. Uh, our peers have spoken to the digital infrastructure, the work we are doing on the rollout of uh, fiber and uh, Pi. But uh, today tied to our on a number uh, of pillars, and uh, what we see as the e-citizen uh, system is a one-stop shop for government. But below it, we have established and we are in the process of establishing a number of pillars. One of it is the digital identity. Then we are also supporting all the government agencies in automation of their records uh, and digitization of those records. And then also providing uh, uh, the government systems which will then help uh, operationalize the digitization. Your Excellency, just to take you back quickly, 
Uh, the other two pillars, one is on uh, digital innovation and enterprise. For this, uh, we have uh, done an uh, e-commerce portal, which as we deploy the public Wi-Fi, uh, the people in the markets can go in as a marketplace, and we are going to show you just uh, quickly how that works. We realize that as we deploy this technology, and we onboard services and we avail uh, services online, we need to empower our people for them to be able to utilize these services and also skill the public sector for them to deploy and uh, serve our citizens. So, Your Excellency, we will just uh, later on show you. So, my question to you is exactly on that, that uh, lady there. Can you go back there where you are? Have you just come from? No. Yeah, here. Yeah. You remember this, uh, so what, because you've talked about digital skills, right? And uh, e-commerce and uh, digital jobs, yeah? Digital opportunities. So um, what is the plan on digital skills? Because uh, we have the program that we are working with Tibet we have asked our members of parliament to work with you as the ICT yeah. to establish digital hubs. Yes, your excellency. Or ICT hubs. Yes. 1,450, one in every ward. ward. Yes, your And uh, I'm happy that members of parliament have agreed and they, have already, they are already working on the legislation to enable CDF to be deployed in, uh, in that. And then number three, uh, we also need to bring, working with the counties, and I'm happy uh, Governor Sakaja was here, working with the counties to bring the vocational training centers. Um, uh, there are about 4,000 of them. The vocational training centers in every part of Kenya should be brought into the, uh, these metrics yes. of uh, them being centers where we can deploy uh, the education on e-learning, uh, e e-commerce, and e-skills. Yes. Have, you, have you thought about that beyond, beyond uh, what we are doing? Waziri? Thank you, Your Excellency. We have already have consultative sessions with the Council of Governors, and the county governments have committed to make the vocational training centers available for this purpose. We have agreed on very, very clear roles and responsibilities. As government, we are going to provide the internet, we are going to provide the personnel. But the county government, first of all, they will ensure that as we roll out the fiber, they will not be charging anything for the way lifts. That will be free to enhance the connectivity. They'll also then subsequently ensure that the polytechnics are available for us to deploy the devices, and they are going a step further to facilitate defrayal of the cost of electricity in all those institutions so for purposes of sustainability. And uh, have you also considered, just in case, the counties don't have the money, for example, to put up an extra ICT facility to be used in the, in the, in the Tibet, in the tech vocational training center? Yes. Have you considered how we can work with members of parliament? Yes. Because members of parliament have proposed that they can use the CDF facility to yes. build either a lab or an extra classroom for this purpose. I would suggest that you explore the possibilities of uh, just in case. Yes. Because many of these facilities may not have the requisite infrastructure for you to deploy the, uh, the, the internet and the uh, e-learning facility. Again, Your Excellency, that's work in progress. In fact, it is at the very tail end. We have had consultations with the members of Parliament through our ICT Committee of the National Assembly and the ICT Committee of the Senate. They have committed to provide facilities in each and every ward where we can do the deployment of the village digital laboratories. They have gone a step further, Your Excellency, to facilitate amendments to the relevant act that would enable them to meet some of the costs of the challenges we have been facing, such as electricity, Your Excellency. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Your Excellency. Welcome to the home of Aslas. Your, ex uh, Your Excellency, pardon. Welcome to the Ministry of Cooperative and MSME, Your Excellency. If you don't mind, you can 
take a two minutes sit or you can stand your excellency <clears throat> yeah any you can choose you can choose prime the deputy president your your excellency uh you gave a promise to kenyans that uh government of kenya will be able to budget and allocate 50 billion shillings per year your excellency you this is about financial inclusion financial literacy financial uh, digital uh, literacy across the country today that time your excellency we are talking about simulation today we are talking of a story we have traveled the journey today is exactly seven days this is the youngest fan in kenya but the largest at the same time so your excellency i'll take you about two minutes to just show you and demonstrate the journey we've traveled since november that year last year your excellency to access this fund you die, you go to a ussd code star 254 and then that takes you to the page of the hustler fund your excellency this is the journey we've traveled the first product is personal loan product you can see from here in december we in november that one day we recorded 410,000 subscribers. In December, we recorded 16.1 million subscribers. Over time, this month of June, 210,000 were subscribers. In total, Your Excellency, we have been able to register borrowers. 17.2 of those 20.56 are borrowing currently under personal loan. Now, these are the features and the statistics that we are generating from that data. Gender. This, uh, gender distribution. The gentlemen, the men are 53 percent, women 47. And I think that's about training. We need to do training because I believe women are the biggest, could be the bene biggest beneficiaries. Look at the phone type. Is the feature phone is 55 percent, meaning truly the borrowers are hustlers, and the smartphone is uh, the smartphone is 45 percent. Now look at also the distribution. Uh, in terms of uh, counties, the lowest county is 51,000 subscribers, and the, uh, the highest, which is Nairobi, is 2 million subscribers, which is almost related to the population distribution across the country. Also, it tells you the fund is equitable. It spreads across the country. Next page, please. Now, the personal loan product, this is the repayment. The county of Nyeri are good people, generally, in terms of payment and honoring debts. And you can see from this number, 76% are paying Kiambu and all the way. That is how the payment and the, gen the, the demographics we are generating. Now, you go to the next one, the group loan product. Your Excellency, on the 1st of June, during Madaraka Day in Embu, you launched the second product. The number of groups we have been able to register so far, as of today, this morning, is 273,746. The ones that are active and ready to borrow are 26,220, meaning 9.6 of the groups that have been formed. The average, uh, the, the number of members is approximately 1 million uh, who have borrowed. Now, the ones who have been approved is 6.7, the one un undergoing approval is 3.33. The average ticket, uh, the average loan, uh, which has been dispersed is 77 million. And the number of loans that have been issued is 11,000, and the groups that have borrowed are 11,431. Now, the other information we are getting, the average ticket now to the groups is 6,739, and the highest ticket, the, the highest group that has borrowed is 54,000. Our journey is to move from, uh, our highest ticket will be 200,000 when, uh, when the groups attain their limit. The loan repayment we have also re recorded. Now, when it comes to group, you see the disparity widens. There are more men who are borrowing under groups, 58%. Women are 42%. Basically, we think it's about training, sensitization, and uh, capacity building. Now, look at the average age of borrowers. Over 18 to 29, the character and the age of the group is 43%. Basically saying, these are youth. And then you go to below so 50%. You're, you're saying 70% of the borrowers are below the age of 39 50. 39, yes, sir. That is 70 percent. 70 percent. When you go to the average ticket size, yes, our, we, our plan was 
to it, they should borrow between 20,000 wow. and uh, 200,000. 200,000, yes. Sir. So the highest at the moment is 54,000. 54, is that that's the highest ticket so far? So far, so far. But we are they are on a journey as they borrow and repay. We keep changing the limit and raising up. And I believe, uh, as the and again, it depends on the, the group. If the group has a uh, uh, main high, so the average of the members gives you the limit for that group. So let's go to the next page, please. Uh, so registration and formalization, we, you see we have this uh, e-certificate as part of onboarding. And there is a, a graduation we are building and partnership we are forming. If you allow me, let me allow the peers to just take us through the formalization and partnership. Thank you. Thank you so much, Your Excellency. This has proven to be the most uh, productive digital financing product across the globe. So here, all what we are, the story we are telling here is that all the Hasula Fund beneficiaries with positive credit score can now be graduated from the personal loan to the second loan which you are having right now, product which is Chama, and uh, the next the SME loan and also the startup loan. But again, there is an opportunity now to graduate them based on their post to the Youth Enterprise Fund loan, to Weso Fund, and also for those ones who are interested in borrowing uh, loans to invest in the manufacturing sector, to the level of 20 million shillings they can also access through KIE without necessarily providing collaterals because now we are building a culture of credit score. Let's move on. And again, uh, through this product, we've been having conversation with a, a development partner. The financing gap in Kenya, as far as MSM is concerned, is 20 billion USD. And now they are willing to take on board all the Hasula Fund beneficiaries, the 20 plus million uh, Kenyans who have subscribed through that and have registered credit score. We scaled them up so that they can move from micro, small, medium, and eventually to large enterprises. So far we have commitments, go back, we have commitment from the World Bank, we are working on the three programs with them, which will benefit the Hasula Fund beneficiaries who have positive credit score. We have KFW who have put in 3 billion Kenyan shillings to support entrepreneurship development, again, of the Hasula Fund beneficiaries. We have ADB, JICA, EU, and many other partners coming on board. And also, we've had expression from the commercial bank, including KCB. In fact, KCB were asking us, when can we start lending to these 7 million regular borrowers of the Hasula Fund? And we are working on that. Uh, we, we are nurturing a culture of credit score. As you know, we didn't have that culture. Already the 7 million Kenyans who had been listed in the credit bureau have now successfully been rehabilitated and now they can be integrated back to the economy. We are also working with the private sector to create a reliable credit score based on alternative data driven by opportunities. For example, those who are investing in our priority value chains, dairy, leather, uh, building and construction can now have uh, a metric that can support them to access higher. And Your Excellency here, we are promoting a saving and investment culture. I didn't see you with your phone because you were first hustler fund beneficiary. You will have checked your saving balance. But I know Mweshimwa uh, Lelengemit can be able to check. She has been a very good borrower. As I take His Excellency through this slide, start checking your, your saving balance for us. And here so far, through the mandatory uh, savings, we've been able to mobilize about 1.6 billion in just eight months. And also, we can talk of a voluntary saving, which we just launched three months ago, that is now has risen to 60 million. Through this culture of saving and investment, we are asking our hustlers can now invest in housing, can invest in health insurance, in education, and any other program that can benefit them in future. We are now, Your Excellency, through this particular progress, we are now transiting our society from social protection to social security. Market linkages, again, Your Excellency, we want to create a virtual market to enhance access to market, both local and globally, for over 20 million MSMEs that we have in Kenya. Thank you. So, 
Thank you, Your Excellency. Thank you very much. Maybe the last one is the power of partnership, public-private partnership. Without the private sector, Safaricom, Airtel, Telcom, KCB, Family Bank, we would not be where we are. So we are showcasing the power of public-private partnership. And that platform we are creating will create e-commerce. 20 million people can create a powerful e-commerce. The, the aggregation centers we are building in our counties will be a very good area where we can also showcase the Hustler Fund. Your Excellency. Thank you very much, uh, Waziri. I think the success, the success of the Hustler Fund that is built on a digital platform speaks to the whole of government approach to digitizing government services. Uh, 20 million Kenyans, 17 million borrowers, 7.1 million regular borrowers on the Hustler Fund have been able to transact with government, with the Hustler Fund, without knowing anybody. They didn't have to go to no office, they didn't have to speak to nobody, they didn't have to pay no one. Each and every member of our society has been able to access and the numbers are here. They speak for themselves. Uh, county by county, we have 2 million people in uh, Nairobi County. We have 1.1 million people in Kiambu, 848 million in uh, Nakuru, all the way. Kwale, 270,000, uh, not million, 270,000 people. Nyandarwa, 200,000 people. Elgeo Barakwet, 140. So all these Kenyans, Homa Bay, uh, Migori, 322. Uh, Taita Taveta, or that, that's what? Uh, Transoya, no, Transoya, 327. You know, Embu, 278,000. All these Kenyans have been able to access this financial government service without having to talk to anybody. It is the re same reason why today we are launching another 5,000 government services that will travel the same journey as the Hustler Fund. You don't have to know anybody. You don't have to go to no office. You can actually interact with government, access government service, pay for government service without having to go to no office or to see anybody or to bribe anybody or to influence anybody. That is the kind of government we are building. On a digital platform, using technology, we can make government efficient, we can get government effect effective, and we can make government accountable. We don't have to lose any money because of pilferage or because of interaction or people, uh, Kenyans having to bribe anybody to have access to any government service. I know members of parliament like Mr. Lelmengit here, they were waiting for government to give them their hustler fund money so that they can go and set up an office and distribute the money to their supporters. I'm sorry, Mr. Lelmengit and your group, that it was not possible. The digital uh, platform uh, assisted us and we made things easier for you. You don't have to struggle identifying people. You don't have to be blamed for giving this guy and not giving the other guy. Technology has made a lot of things easy for us. Did you have something to say, Mashima? Yes, yes Your Excellency. I'm also a beneficiary of the Hustler Fund. <laughs> uh, from the first day, I borrowed 5,000 when you launched, 500 shillings when you launched. And now I can comfortably uh, borrow 3,500. My savings is around 3,200. And we have voluntary savings and we have uh, mandatory savings. So it depends when it's, you, you borrow, for example, you borrow 3,000 shillings, mandatory, mandatory savings is 150 shillings. Okay. But we can also add on the voluntary savings. Very good. Thank you, Your Excellency. Thank you very much. Thank Congratulations. You. Thank you, Your Excellency. Karibu to the Minister of Foreign Affairs and Labor. Karibu, sir. Karibu, sana, Your Excellency. Here, it's a partnership between the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and Diaspora and the Ministry of Labor. It's about Kazi Maju. We also cut in the middleman. So what we've come up with a platform whereby Kenyans can go online and look for job opportunities all over the world. So we'll be posting a lot of opportunities from different countries 
you go in there you are to, you find a section where you can put in your details it connects you to agents who are recruiting people from different parts of the world or even from this country you are able to also be able to get a skill assessment done so you can look at the different opportunities and we connect you directly to the employer it goes all the way until you leave the country with even a, a stamp that allows you to leave the country that immigration has cleared you that you're going to a job that is known it will also be able to track the remittances and how your life is continuing overseas so itakuwa ni kama kazi chap chap hakuna mambo ya kungojea kutafutiwa kazi na mtu you log in you get your job and you'll be feeding them the jobs here and cutting out scrupulous and uh, scrupulous agents so if an agent is not listed in this system you don't trust them Kenya government itself the ministry of diaspora will also become agents we are forming teams that will be going out in the crowd different parts of the world looking for jobs and uh, uploading them so that Kenyans can also apply for those jobs that have been sought out by the Kenyan government i'm going to give the minister of labor to say a few words and we've got a champion uh, judy chipchichiru who has been able to send over 7000 people overseas and we've got a young man called Zablon who today wants to apply and look for a job immediately and get posted so that he can leave the country in a month and go look for opportunities overseas. Your Excellency. Kazi Maju. So Kenyans need to be ready to apply. Two questions, uh, Waziri. Yes, sir. Um, I asked you and your colleague in uh, Ministry of Labor to work on bilateral labor agreements so that we can have a framework where Kenyans uh, access the jobs in a manner that nobody takes advantage of them. We negotiate ahead of time. We know how they are going to stay. How far are we on the matter of bilateral labor agreements? Question number one, because that's the correct framework for us to do it. Number two, you know the intention of this government is to make sure that we take our remittances from 400 billion to a trillion or more. beyond a trillion is our mark how many jobs is the target for the next five years how many kenyans do we want to export as labor to other countries what is the target thank you your excellency the first one about bilateral labor, and I'll let my colleague also answer some of the questions. I don't want to hog the microphone. Um, as the Minister of Foreign Affairs, we make sure that first we have bilateral agreements, frameworks with different countries. For example, in Australia, they are looking for people as low, not as low, but people who don't even need to have a lot of skills. Uh, you can go there with a bit of skill as a barrister. You can go there as a little skill, uh, as a sweeper, and all that and they're importing them from Europe. Kenyans can't go there because we don't have a bilateral framework, so we can't even sign a bilateral labor agreement. So we are trying to get bilateral frameworks with as many countries as possible. The Ministry of Labor then comes in and initiates bilateral uh, labor agreements, and she'll be able to tell you how far we are. We have signed quite a bit, and we're working on the others. I will let Judy uh, also answer the question on the issue of the numbers because we've been dealing with the answer so that at least somebody gets a chance to say something also. Thank you, Your Excellency. Um, we work with the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. This is an integrated system. Uh, we call it Diaspora Labor Integrated System. On this system, we have everyone here. We have the job seeker. We have the recruitment agencies. And uh, as a ministry, we do the bilateral labor agreements. We've already done with the Gulf regions. Uh, we, will, we already had for domestic workers, but now we want to review to have the other skills brought on board so that we are able to export everyone, not just the domestic workers. So we've done with the Gulf region. We are about to do with Germany. We are about to do with Canada and um, will be good to go. Okay, do you, have a, do you have time? How much time do we give you for the other? Because already we had conversation with the German government yes. and they asked us that they want 250,000 workers. Yes. Uh, 
we have close to 100,000 workers going every year to uh, Canada from all over the world. True. A, a, a part of that should come from Kenya. Mm -hmm. We have the same thing in South Korea. You remember we were in South Korea. Yes. We have the same thing in the US. Mm -hmm. We have the same thing in Australia. We have the whole of the Gulf region. Mm -hmm. So, and I want you to speak to the fact that the only reason why we have all these problems with the domestic workers is because that was the only labor agreement we had. True. We have, we have more people in Kenya with better skills, with more skills than dom domestic workers. True, Your Excellency. But we didn't uh, provide for a, 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 a framework. The other skills. The other skills. Yes. What are you doing to make sure that the other skills are included in, in that exercise? PS has been working on the bilateral labor agreements with the other technical teams from other countries. Let him Please, speak about PS. It. That is correct. Thank you very much, sir. <clears throat> in the recent past, we have moved towards uh, professional and uh, skilled cadres. We have sent out 10 BLS. Bilateral labor agreements. Yeah, bilateral labor agreements to different countries, including Poland, Australia. We, next week we have a meeting with German. We already sent them a proposal in the form of a BLA. There is a meeting between Waziri and Canada next week, the Canadian High Commissioner on the Canadian Jobs. So we are making progress on that front. We need on average three to six months to negotiate and to conclude all these BLS that are already in those countries. Sir. Okay. Jobs, how many, what is the target? How many jobs are we, are we, are we targeting? At the moment, we can, per month, we'll be doing about 25,000. But if we ensure that the BLS in those countries go through, then we'll be able to get about 800,000. Can I take it from you, Waziri, the two ministers and your teams, that uh, by the end of this year, we must conclude the bilateral labor frameworks and the bilateral labor agreements so that we can open the opportunity for the millions of young people in Kenya today who have different skills out of college, out of school, out of university to access digital jobs that are available globally. Can we, can, can I get an undertaking from you? Yes, uh, I give you an undertaking that by December this year it's going to be a different playing field. And it's not just about, uh, we have to provide opportunities for people to find the jobs we're also doing a bit of training because they are competing with other nations, Philippines and others, for people to be able to qualify for the jobs and able to, uh, to compete with others and get the employment. But also with the bilateral agreements, it's also to get good packages. For example, you find in some countries, if your passport is from a European country, you get, let's say, for example, 100,000 shillings. But if your passport is Kenyan, even though you're doing more work than the person, same qualifications, you're getting 30,000 shillings. So we are trying also to get an equity for our people so their rights are also not abused in that way. But I give you an undertaking, Your Excellency, that by the end of this year, we'll be looking at those numbers of an average of about 85,000 people a month being going overseas. Uh, can we listen to Judy? somebody from the private sector? Thank you, Your Excellency. Um, for us to be able to grow our remittance to a trillion, we need to look for job opportunities out of the country. And we do have a plan that we've laid down on the strategies on these jobs, how the projections has to come out so that we achieve. And we gave you a proposal that uh, for the ceiling 2023-2024, we are looking forward to create a million jobs so that for us to be able to grow our remittance. And we have um, the framework that we've started as agents, and we are working with the ministry so that we achieve that. Thank you. How, uh, what do you need to do? Um, you, you are among the agents who are scouting for these jobs, right? Yes. Now, what has been the problem in the past between the agents, the government of Kenya, the jobs, and the other countries? And how have we addressed it over the last uh, couple of months? Thank you, Your Excellency. The, the problem that we had before is because the government was working in silos, where they were working and having information on their own, and the agents were on their own. But now, uh, the recent few days that we've come together, we are working as a team, whereby the ministries sent us the information to where we are able to move. That we create, we, we bring together the agents and, and the opportunities they, are about, they, are, they, are, they, they have access to, and make sure that government facilitates Yes. Uh, the skills to identify where the skills are 
connect them with their jobs and be able to export labor. Is yes. that correct? Yes. Very good. Thank, thank you so you much. Very much. Thank, you. thank you. Thank you, Your Excellency. Thank you, Excellency. Karibu to Visa, Your Excellency. <laughs> this is Visa, Your Excellency. This beautiful lady is going to take you through. Your Excellency, welcome to the Visa Stand. My name is Eva, and I look after the visa business in Kenya. First, congratulations on enabling over 5,000 services on eCitizen. We didn't think it was going to happen, but we're here today, so congratulations for that. But over and above that, we are a partner of eCitizen. We are powering um, the eCitizen platform through our secure payment gateway, CyberSource, that makes it possible for cardholders, whether locally or internationally, to pay for government services online. But as, as we are part of this transition journey, we are working with the Directorate of eCitizen to enable technology, to provide financial resources that will help create awareness, that will help create thought leadership, that will help advance the platform so that there is more access and it's, a, it's an engaging platform for the government to engage with the citizens. But the other thing, and I want to just take a minute of your time to talk about is what Visa has done. As Gava goes Mkononi, Visa has also gone Mkononi. So we are now making it possible for hustlers to accept digital payments on their mobile phone. And that's what I want to take a minute to show you how we're doing it. Because if they can't collect, if they can pay digital, I mean, if they can sell digitally, then they can pay for government services. Yeah. Thank you so much, Your Excellency. My name is Paul, and I'm happy to take you through how a small trader or an hustler or any other businessman can is able to receive payment digitally and at the same time also be able to pay out the payment digitally. So initially, there was, we used to have a challenge whereby I needed to have a, a separate device for me to accept visa transactions. But right now what we've done, and it's been a journey, is all what you need is your phone. So as long as I have a smartphone, I can have the payment capability in my phone. Now with that, it will enable my customers, whether I'm a boda boda, I'm a boga, mama boga, or I'm selling a shop like this one, and people are buying sodas and bread, they'll be able to pay digitally on my phone. And then when I receive the payment, I'll be able also to make my payment, either to my suppliers and other payments. So for example, thank you so much, Your Excellency. For example, if I'm in this shop here and you're buying bread and let's say some soda and some water, then I'll just go to my phone. It is just a normal phone. I'm using actually my own phone and I'll be able to do a visa transaction. Assuming the items you've picked are for 450, then I'll be able to charge my card and I'll be able to receive the money. So I'll receive the money from my card and then the money will go to my bank account. Thank you. Thank you, Your Excellency. Welcome to Safaricom. The CEO of Safaricom is going to take you through, Your Excellency. Sorry, sorry. Yeah. So you welcome uh, Your Excellency, um, Honorable Cabinet Minister. Um, so you welcome to Safaricom. Uh, to be the platform that uh, to be the platform that uh, fuels and supports uh, the whole digitization. We we say it's about driving digital transformation through connectivity, because people have to be connected to the internet, uh, through fintech, which is about uh, payments and also credit, uh, and also IoT and ICT, which is about solutions that allow uh, digitization to work. So I'll start with the, the fintech side, which is the M-Pesa side. Um, so of course, Safaricom enables real-time payments for government, uh, and that creates transparency, but also from uh, uh, the, the, the person who is paying, uh, the, uh, it is lower cost, they don't have to travel, and uh, we fuel secure transactions on a, on a daily basis. And uh, uh, you, you've heard from all the rest of the presenters that they rely on M-Pesa in terms of payment. And the fundamental uh, basis of M-Pesa is actually payments. Then we go to credit, uh, which is where Hustler Fund, Women Enterprise Fund, you know we are already in, the, in phase two, and uh, CS has spoken through uh, the progress that we are making. 
uh, we are pleased with, with what uh, we are able to do. And uh, we are looking forward to phase three and four, uh, Your, Your Excellency. The third one is vouchering. Uh, we are powering uh, the uh, the fertilizer uh, project, uh, which through the Ministry of Agriculture, uh, though both the, the actual platform, but also the user journey, including the stock management, uh, that is being powered by, uh, by uh, Safaricom, but also the actual payment. Uh, so, so it's not just the, the payment, but it's also the, um, the platform that allows uh, uh, farmers to claim uh, the, the subsidy. And remember that uh, this started with uh, how we were using uh, vouchers for refugees. Now we can use them for, for claiming a fertilizer subsidy. We can go to inputs. Um, and we already have 3.2 million bags of fertilizer, which has already been uh, redeemed, uh, worth 11 billion uh, Kenya shillings uh, by uh, registered farmers. We have 489,000 farmers who have already uh, claimed uh, uh, the subsidies. We are also working with other agencies of government uh, like help uh, the higher education uh, loan board, uh, so students can actually pay and manage their loans uh, through this, including we are giving them uh, a credit score so that they understand which students uh, are, do are doing the right thing. And, and the money is actually, uh, we ensure that the money is used for what it is supposed to be used for. So if money is used for, it's supposed to be used for tuition, it goes to tuition, uh, if, if, if the rest of the money is open, then uh, the platform actually manages uh, that. The second thing that we wanted to talk to you, Your Excellency, is connectivity. And our commitment is to ensure that everyone has access to the internet, whether it's through mobile uh, and, and also uh, through uh, the fiber network. I know you have a big plan uh, for the fiberization of the country. We already have 450,000 homes passed through our fiber network, but also our fiber infrastructure that supports our mobile network can be the backbone and also support the work that uh, uh, you are doing in terms of uh, achieving the 100,000 uh, 100, kilometers. In terms of uh, mobile, we are at 97% coverage on 2, 3, and 4G, and now we have launched 5G. We will have 800 sites at the end of this year uh, in terms of 5G. But the most important is to make sure that we don't leave anyone behind. So we work with the ICT ministry uh, through the USF to ensure those areas that are not commercially viable, they are managed through the, uh, the, the, um, <clears throat> uh, that fund. Now, of course, once you have connectivity, you need devices. And I know this is one thing that we have spoken for a while. And I know you've been updated by the, uh, by the ICT uh, CS. Um, yes, we will have local production. And I know that you have already been updated, so I won't go through that. But I'll also say we also have funding in terms of pay as you go. Uh, we call it Lipa Mdogo Mdogo, where a customer pays 500 shillings uh, deposit and then 20 shillings off their M-Pesa every day. And they get a phone at the end of the period. And we don't charge a, a, a big interest. Our objective is to ensure uh, that uh, the customer has a phone. Because if they do have a phone, then also our services... Uh, are secured th through that uh, uh, through that form. So, so uh, yeah. on, on that particular issue, uh, Peter. First, let me say the following: that uh, I very sincerely appreciate the partnership of Safaricom in all the areas you have mentioned. We did together. We did the Hustler Fund, and uh, together with the other telcos, you led the way, and we appreciate. That system, when I asked you that time, my worry was with a kind of avalanche, uh, the system could have gone either way. But I'm happy that Safaricom has stabilized that system and it's working. On the e voucher for our farmers, it is something that we have been th discussing as government for years. I am very happy that this year, working with you and uh, the other players, we delivered fertilizer to farmers on an e-platform uh, and all the other uh, achievements we have uh, made uh, together. Two issues, uh, Peter, and uh, I want to, this is a discussion I have had with your Boniface, this man who has been to my office so many times uh, and has been very useful. The smartphone, 
my good people there from ICT told me that August we will have the 40 US dollar uh, smartphone. Is it 4G or 5G enabled? It is a five, uh, sorry, it's 4G, 4G. Uh, smartphone because that's the entry point for proper internet access. Correct. So it will be, can I confirm again to you for the second time that it, in August we will have a rollout of those uh, phones, smartphones? That is correct, Your Excellency. I can hold you to account on that? Yes, that is correct. <laughs> <laughs> and on top of that, yes. you're making things even better. You're telling me that that 5,400, Kenyans don't have to pay for it at once. Can they, yes. can they buy that phone, Lipam Dogo uh, 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 style? They can. So they, can, they, they can they, have the option yes. of buying through Lipam Dogom Dogo. They can uh, buy it cash if they want, yes. uh, but they can also have the option of uh, going through the credit. So uh, this smartphone that will allow many Kenyans to access all these services can be available. They pay down 500 shillings, pay 20 shillings every day, and own the phone finally. That is correct. That's correct. Yeah. Wonderful. So I think that is something we should uh, uh, congratulate you for. Proceed. Oh, I proceed. Thank you. Thank you, Your Excellency. And also, we, are, we, we also uh, appreciate your support in helping uh, us work with the various ministries, and we continue to partner with everyone, both at a national level, but also at a county level. I know Governor Sakaja is here. We are also working together uh, to ensure that both the counties are actually enabled in the same way that the national government is enabled. So thank you. Finally, uh, J uh, Peter. You have 250,000 network around the country of, is it agents? We, we actually have 295,000 MPESA agents. MPESA agents across Kenya. That is correct. These 295,000 MPESA agents, can they also have the uh, government up, these uh, 5,000 government services? Can they be available at each of your agents' spots? Yeah, in fact, that was the next point I was going to say, okay. that we are happy uh, to support uh, the ministry and also your government in uh, opening up the network, the, the agent network, uh, to be able to serve Kenyans uh, by having the ability for, for a person to go and visit you know, the agent work with the, with the ministry to work through the process of, uh, of doing that. So whether it is 295,000 or it's a smaller number, we can work through that uh, so that we make sure that those agents are also trained to make sure they can deliver the services. But there they are points of uh, sale that can allow citizens who go there every day anyway for MPESA services to access government services. The second aspect is on our MPESA super app, now on the smartphone. We have 8 million customers who have already downloaded the M-Pesa Super App. So they don't have to use USSD. They can actually go to the uh, M-Pesa Super App and, and, and uh, access uh, the e-citizen. So we'll, do, we'll put the e-citizen as a mini app on the M-Pesa Super App. You can see the Hustler Fund mini app is already there. Now we'll be able to put the e-citizen as a mini app on the, on the uh, M-Pesa uh, Super App. Just to give you an indication, about 7% of the revenue that M-Pesa comes from the app itself. It shows you just how important it is to actually give people smartphones because they do more with, the, with their lives. And you can see they have many other services that they can access, including credit uh, and, uh, and other lifestyle uh, services. Um, and then the final thing that I wanted to speak to is uh, on uh, uh, hosting. We host the e-citizen a platform in a secure cloud network for us that is owned by Safaricom. And that is very important. That's why M-Pesa is very stable and reliable. So we host uh, the e-citizens uh, in a way that is secure. So as we digitize the ecosystem, it's important to emphasize security. Uh, and si we have a very, one of the best uh, cyber security defense center uh, at Safaricom. We've had, we have had a lot of banks and everyone stealing our people because we do have very, very good skills on the, on the cyber side. We also uh, are now looking at IoT, which is uh, 
uh, Internet of Things, working with, say, utility companies or transport companies. This is, this is how you, you connect devices. Uh, uh, and uh, um, so, for example, on uh, non-revenue water, we are working with EDOAS, for example, as a test and as a pilot uh, to make sure that they can get uh, a solution that allows them to reduce the non-revenue water. We can work with the, the Port Authority and others in terms of, uh, and even the KRA, in tracking uh, transport. Good. Thank you very much, Peter. I think the, that, that's quite a good story. And I agree with you that cybersecurity is going to be the next big thing. As we transit government services onto the digital platform, we must be careful that it is secure. We appreciate yeah. what Safaricom is doing, but I've already instructed Waziri here to work with his team to make sure that we have a backup of all the services of government at the DOD, and we have another backup at a secure place, which I have told you where you're going to uh, have uh, several backup facilities, and that because of the sensitivity of uh, this platform, now that the whole of government is moving into, into that platform, security becomes front and center. And uh, I have told Waziri here to consult with his uh, colleague, uh, Owalo, so that we can consolidate the whole of the e-citizen platform at the Ministry of Interior, so that uh, we are also seized of the security requirements that are necessary to secure the delivery of government service on a platform that cannot be accessed by people who don't have to. That, that's great, Your Excellency, and we'll, we'll continue to work with the team. The final one is the, the communication itself. So we, we've worked with PSB Talk and, 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 and the rest of the team in, in terms of coming up with the comms, uh, and, and you've talked about the channels uh, that, uh, that we can enable, including the communication. We are experts in driving brand. You know what we did with Hasta Fund. We can also support on this, okay. and very, very happy uh, to be involved. Thank Asante you, Sana, Your Thank Excellency. You Thank you. Thank you, Your Excellency. We now welcome you to the world of digital content creators. Your Excellency, these are among the thousand jobs that are being created by digitizing. Your Excellency, Karibu Sana. This here is Phil. He's a top film content creator. And he has an online radio show that is live already, Your Excellency. Ukingi hapa sasa utakuwa live kwa studio akuliza maswali mbili. We are the people making a living out of the internet connectivity and digital uh, content creation. And on this channel, we just have conversations with men and women who've achieved success so that we understand the path that they took. How does one man out of 50 million Kenyans become the president of the Republic of Kenya? What, what constitutes, what's the DNA of such a man? Is it their bringing? What virtues? What culture did you have? What, yeah, we want to know, how did you get here? How did you achieve success? First, uh, let me tell you, I'm just an ordinary Kenyan, like all other Kenyans. You don't have to be special, you don't have to be super, you don't have to be a genius, you just need to be a simple Kenyan to be able to get where others get. And let me also tell you that uh, um, we are all equal, both before God and before our constitution. And you don't have to be special to achieve, or you don't have to be extraordinary to achieve extraordinary things. You can be ordinary, but still achieve extraordinary stuff. And being a leader is just like being an artist. I would also ask you, how did you, out of 50 million Kenyans, be the special guy that you are in your field? Nick you God know, <laughs> So it's, it's just all of us are, are, are special in our own way. All of us have talent gifted differently. Not everybody can be president. Not everybody can be uh, an artist, a good artist like yourself. It is just the paths people choose. But that does not make you extraordinary or special. It's just that you have an opportunity. God brings opportunities across. Hard work, determination, you know, focus, drive passion, you know, takes you there. 
but you have to be available to do what you must do. Let me say this, that um, those of us who have the privilege to serve in certain categories, it is not because we are special. No, it is because we have opportunity. Very many Kenyans can do the job I do. Very many Kenyans can do the job you do, right? I consider myself privileged that out of 50 million Kenyans, I am today president. It's not because uh, I am special in any way. God has given me an opportunity, and that is why I don't take it for granted, and that is why I work very hard, because I need to make a difference. That's why, for example, we are here today launching this program. A lady work, uh, just uh, across in Visa reminded me that when I told them as Visa that time, because they are supporting us on e-citizen, yeah. when I told her that we were going to have 5,000 government services in six months, she just said she didn't believe it, wow. right? Yeah. But today, she is part of the launch of 5,000 and 84 government services that will be available online, digitized, completed. There are another 3,000 something services that are halfway towards the completion. So it just takes determination. It just it takes focus, you know, and commitment. And that is why I want to persuade the people of Kenya that it may have looked difficult, you know, six months ago. How are we going to move from 320 services that were available online that time to 5,084? I 